Good evening, everyone. Welcome to DGen Late Hours Pokemon Let's Go After Dark, however you want to call it. Uh, I'm your host, CyJ. I'm joined by my co host, Razor, uh, for Pokemon Let's Go After Dark. Uh, we've got the second se- semifinals match, uh, not the first one, the second one, uh, between New Amber, Tucker, and Ergo. Uh, this is uh, we're, we're going to try and set up our finals match here, so we'll have our second finalist uh, at the end of this one. So, Razor, uh, yeah, we saw a really close race last night uh, between uh, Headstrong, Furist, and Randall. Uh, all all three of those racers within were in within about fifteen seconds of each other most of that race. So. Most of that race, yes. Like, yeah, that was probably. The closest race I've seen that late into the run between all three racers. It was insanely tight. We take a look at our bracket here. You can see Headstrong has already uh, advanced to the final match. So this will be her second appearance uh, in the Let's Go tournament finals. Uh, so uh, top match there, uh, Amber Tucker and Ergo is the one that we will be playing tonight. Uh T-Pat, Etiquette, Head Bob playing tomorrow, so we will know all of our finalists um, by tomorrow. And it looks like we are getting set up now. All right, so the first important question, left Joy-Con, left Joy-Con, Amber with the right Joy-Con. Left Raycon all the way. Right Joy-Con. So on a normal controller, where is your normal joystick? On a normal controller, where are your buttons normally? Isn't the Joy-Con great, everybody? (laughs) Isn't it a great controller? (laughs) Also, shout out to Amber. Uh, Shout out to Amber being the last Pikachu left in the tournament. Uh, EV Supremacy. EV Supremacy, indeed. Uh, I see... I didn't check. I think everyone got... No, Ergo has Girl EV. I can't tell what Tucker's is. Amber's got Boy Pikachu. I can't tell. All I know is it looks like Amber's a little behind. Boy one, girl one. I don't know if they're completely synced, but and girl Amber, three. Amber girl three. All three of our racers getting in to the game. Just going to do a quick options menu. Uh, standard Pokemon speedrun stuff, turning off move animations, turning off cutscenes, uh, things that we wish we could do in Scarlet and Violet. Right. If only. Only Scarlet and Violet was a good game. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be asking for a lot. Let's be uh, good menu from Ergo. Good menu from Tucker. And good menu from Amber. I fully suspect we'll have good menus most of the way through. These guys are some of the best runners in the game. There's a reason they're in the semis. That is true. It's the first thing we're going to check. Uh, Eevee is going to always be the same CP, um, but for Amber, uh, we're going to see if the CP is uh, different 
Uh, offhand, I think it's, what is it, 26? I don't it's, actually don't remember. remember offhand, yeah. This is, uh, need, need to run I more people. I want to say 27 is neutral. 27 yeah, is neutral. neutral. Uh, 26. Uh, if it's 26, then we have uh, a non-neutral stat. And it is... 27. 27. It is a neutral. Oh, neutral nature. So I don't anticipate any of these runners actually checking their nature. Um, I don't know. I didn't ask if any of them have a backup, but I just think all three of them are going to go. Uh, this is the semifinals. Most of these runners can kind of pretty much adapt to any nature. Um, yeah. Eevee has less runnable natures than Pikachu does, because um, for Eevee's speed is mostly important. There's a couple fights with Eevee where you really mm -hmm. don't want to be outsped, uh, but Pikachu... Few, uh, but like, it, it's not difficult to get around it. Yeah, uh, Pikachu, these, these if, if you have never seen a speed run of this game, uh, these are not normal Pikachu and Eevees. Um, this Pikachu has like base like 120 speed or something. It's like it's like faster than like Latios or something ridiculous. Um, so uh, Pikachu, you can take a minus speed nature and you will still outspeed everything in the game. And yet they still did Pikachu dirty by not giving you splishy splash when Eevee gets all the broken moves. Yeah, Eevee, uh, Eevee gets a wide variety <laughs> of dumb moves in this game, whereas Pikachu gets Zippy Zap. And that's not to say Zippy Zap's a bad move. It's a very, very... Oh, no, it's very a very good move, move, and we'll go over that later in the run. But. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, we will not be seeing uh, Pikachu's other two moves that it gets in the game. Imagine if it actually got Splishy Splash in Cerulean. Be so good. So many things. Pico would be the better game at that point. You wouldn't have to keep double kick for so long. No, you wouldn't. You just you just overwrite double kick. All right, so all three of need it for the right horn on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't have to go to like plus seven. All right, all three of our runners exiting the lab. Let's see if we get good Route 1 RNG. Ergo going to be the first one to hit Route 1. A uh, lot of, uh, all right, good good spawns there. Easy to dodge. Uh, same with Amber, Amber running into a patch of rats. Everyone That's is... rats, but they weren't too difficult to dodge. Like nope. none of them really had to stray too right, far. Ergo, Ergo doing the right thing, Tucker doing the right thing, and Amber doing the right thing, all leaving their starters behind. Uh getting their starters stuck on the ledge. Yeah, if you hug that corner as you make that turn, the your poke will get stuck in the ledge and as with most runs, you try to want to minimize your movement, so hugging edges makes a lot of sense. And saves time. Now comes the interesting part. Do either of the Eevees have plus attack? And can they want two-shot? Because Eevee can two-shot this fight. Yes, Eevee can. Uh, you need a he very, very... And three shot if you're really lucky, but it's yeah. always a four shot. All right, so this fight is pretty standard for Pikachu version. You're just going to spam Thunderbolt. Uh, the EV version of this fight is very different. Or not Thunderbolt. <laughs> Thunderbolt wow, let's Thunder, just get Pika Thunder Thunderbolt at five. Whatever. Uh, good damage from Ergo. Uh, very good damage from Tucker as well. Uh, Amber, unfortunately, with the paralysis there, no. uh, so we'll get some status lag. Uh, Ergo already out of the fight. Ergo got uh, the... did get paralyzed uh, as well. I'm almost certain to... Ergo is a plus attack and got a high roll. I think so, yeah. Crit? I didn't see if it crit all three of our runners out of the fight. That was extremely high damage. Good 
All right, so uh, all of our runners going to talk to, I think this is like your rival's sister or something, or just like a random NPC uh, telling you about like the mechanic in the game where you can play with your starter. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, we, we're, we're a little busy, so we uh, th no nobody gets pets until the end. What, you don't want to pet the Eevee? No. Well, <laughs> in a marathon run, you have to donate for charity for that. Eevee, yes. Eevee doesn't do it. Eevee doesn't get pets for free. Eevee charges for them. <laughs> Alright, everyone's starting the uh, Youngster Ronnie fight uh, Pikachu will actually level up here So we'll actually see what's what well, one of what are known as AVs here So uh, every power. time a Pokemon levels up They are going to get a plus one into a random stat And it's guaranteed to repeat every 10 levels So it's six. A Looks defense like a... AV. Not great. Not great. Uh, will be helpful for later, but uh, for the early game, we really just want to see attack AVs. Uh, Ergo going for a Weedle here, actually, and Tucker Looks going like for a as well. As well. Um, so this strat here, uh, ooh, t uh, Ergo with the miss there. Uh, Tucker getting Tucker first with the first there. there. Yeah, so there's, uh, normally we don't catch anything until we get to the forest here, but uh, once we figured out how catches actually work in this game, uh, there turns out there's a modifier uh, just before you get to the forest for anything you catch, so those are guaranteed bug catches. Uh, no chance of them breaking out, and it does help a little bit uh, letting you two controller a lot of these uh, next catches. Uh, ergo kind of running away from this Pidgey. But because of that catch, it means that both Ergo and Tucker hit level 6, so we do not know what their AV is. Correct. So we will not know what their AVs, what their stats look like until... Um, either the, I don't, they probably won't level up on, uh, mm, it, we may not, oh, is that a Pikachu on Amber's screen? I think so. Uh, unfortunately, Amber <laughs> not able to benefit from the bonus, uh, Pikachu catch that is in the nope. forest here, but, uh, Ergo and Tucker, uh, would very much like to see a Pikachu. Uh, it's like Amber, you see the peak uh, on the Pika screen, but you don't see it on Eevee Classic. Nope. That's that's always how it goes. Uh, Amber uh, does get some bonuses uh, later uh, in the run that the Eevee version will not get. She, well, Amber also now has the better of the Jocelyn fights. I hate this fight. Yeah, this fight is miserable <laughs> on Eevee. It's, it's so <laughs> on Pikachu, it's one turn. Pikachu one-shots because... Super effective Thundershock. Eevee, however, will not one shot, and that that Pidgey has Sand Attack. If it starts spamming Sand Attack and you start missing, it can go sideways real fast. And so Amber picking up the free lure on the ground. Uh, this will just make this is the reverse of a repel. So this makes Pokemon spawn more, and it makes them spawn at higher levels. Yep. So Amber going to use a Raspberry here to uh, hopefully make this Weedle guaranteed. Should be like a 98% chance to stay in. Uh, Tucker unfortunately getting a Caterpie spawn right on them. Uh, not much you can do about that. Uh, ergo trying to find a way to get to this giant uh, Caterpie. Remember with a giant Oddish. Or a tiny, oh, a Oddish. tiny Oddish. Getting Oddish there early allows for the EXP. Ideally, we see that Oddish get to level 9. Good levels for Ergo. So for and the Tucker. Eevee side, uh, you want to be level 10 to leave here because we're going to use Eevee for the Brock fight. 
Um, unfortunately, uh, Bellsprout is not a good grass type. Uh, Ergo does well, get a Pika. Uh, however, uh, Amber will be using uh, Oddish for the Brock fight. Pikachu kind of trolling Ergo a little bit here. All right, so Amber just needs Caterpie, and we are... Amber will be out of the forest. Yep. We're going to go ahead and fight the bug catcher. Still no Caterpie spawn. Tucker already out of the forest. Gonna catch a rat. Uh, none wrong catching rat here. Uh, it is a little extra experience. Uh, did not get the excellent throw, though. You'll find a lot of runners actually like catching rat early and then getting Raticate later for extra EXP. Yeah, Raticate's a good experience bomb. Uh, it's good to grab it, like, on route... Uh, what route, is it? 10. route Route 10. Uh, still no Caterpie spawn. Just a bunch of... Oh, there is a Caterpie. It's uh, in a minefield of, like, Weedles and Metapods. Uh, Tucker grabbing uh, their grass type, uh, which will be Bellsprout. And Ergo also going to go ahead and grab this Bellsprout here that's uh, right at the exit, conveniently, at the exit of the forest. And good attack cycles on both. Mm-hmm. So, for those who do not know, um, when you, like, the gyms in this game have requirements to get into them. Brock requires a water or a grass type. Since you can't get a water type this early, um, Pikachu has to get the Oddish, and Eevee has to get the Bellsprout. Um, the other option is a rare spawn Bulbasaur, but that's half a percent spawn, you don't rely on it. Yeah, Bulbasaur is nice when it appears, but um, only required in AOP, um, unless you want to get the, the gift one. Uh, we will not be getting the gift one in any percent. It's uh, too, too, uh, too many things need to go wrong for Bulbasaur to exist. Amber uh, making their way to the gym. Good natures for all, like decent natures for everybody. So neutral, neutral, hasty. Yep. So hasty is going to be a little scary uh, for Ergo uh, for some fights later in the run. That really depends if our Ergo gets some special attack AVs. Yeah, they Ergo could has very, very good special attack. Oh yeah. If Urgo gets good special attack with that plus speed, they could very well have some really nice ranges come J and J, and potentially outspeed. Right, so Amber about to start the Brock fight uh, on the Pikachu version of this. Uh, we're just going to use Oddish. Um, Oddish comes with Absorb. Uh, these Brock's Pokemon have a kind of low special defense, so um, if this Oddish is good enough level, we should be able to take this fight out in just a couple turns. It is a level 8. So uh, sh they did go for the, gro the growth turn 1. Yep. So hopefully this Oddish is not slow and won't get headbutt. Uh, it is slow. Ooh, that's not good. But we didn't get Headbutt Flinch, so that's all that matters. So, uh, three-turn fight, very good. And then on the Eevee version of this fight, as Tucker is starting the Brock fight now, uh, the Eevee version of this fight... Uh, it goes five turns. Yeah, it's it's a bit slow uh, because Bellsprout, unfortunately, is a terrible Pokemon. Um, it's but... a physical attacker, which 
all of Brock's Pokemon are very physically defensive, whereas Oddish is a special attacker and all of Brock's Pokemon are specially weak. So. Yep, so uh, we will be using Double Kick for this fight. This is why we need to be level 10. Uh, Eevee learns Double Kick at level 10. Which will use Double Kick for all of, like, two fights. <laughs> yeah, Eevee's going to ditch Double Kick uh, pretty quickly, uh, whereas Amber's actually going to keep it all the way until the end of the Pikachu segment of this run. Um, Amber doing their first shop. Buying some great balls. Uh, it's a plus attack special attack AV for Tucker. Nice. Ember not buying the X defend here. So Amber already heading off to uh, the next route and towards Mount Moon. As I said earlier, uh, Amber's uh, is going to have access to some bonus Pokemon that the EV version does not get. Um, so hopefully we see Monkey or Sandshrew here and neither of those things spawned. I didn't even think Amber was in the grass long enough for anything to spawn. Yeah, Amber would very much love to see a Mankey or a Sandshrew here. And I none of those either. things spawn. That is quite unfortunate. It's, it's nice to get the extra experience from those two, uh, because we do need to leave Mount Moon at level 15. Um, as Razor mentioned, every gym has a requirement to enter, and Misty's is to be level 15. Which is why all of the getting, like getting the excellent throws for more EXP is so critical early. Amber buying the Magikarp. It's a free uh, Pokemon uh, for our tracker. Uh, we need 50 Pokemon. Uh, that is the requirement to enter Koga's Gym. We need 50 Pokemon registered in our decks. Uh, the entire speedrun is kind of based around that requirement. Uh, if you've never seen a run of this game and just played this game casually, uh, we're going to do the gyms in a very strange order. Strange indeed. When Blaine is the third gym we do. <laughs> Blaine is the third gym, actually, uh, in the speedrun. Uh, just kind of a strange quirk of how uh, Let's Go kind of works. Um, once you've done the SSN, uh, pretty much the whole region's actually just open to you. So, uh, And no one getting any bonuses uh, on the way to Mount Moon. Nope. So Ergo with the only... Grabbing the free... Oh, that was a good spinner pass right there. Really nice. And nothing yeah. from Ergo either. Oh. So Ergo with the only bonus Pokemon uh, of the run so far, the uh, Pikachu. I do not believe Tucker got a Pikachu. I had the tracker up. I do now. Tucker did not get a Pikachu. Tucker did not get a Pikachu. Ergo did. So I saw Pikachu marked on Amber's and was like, Amber got a Pikachu. And then I'm like, oh, well, yeah, they're, they're playing Pikachu version. Interesting, Amber going to go down the ladder first. I think the reason here is just because of the levels on the fish. Knowing that it's only level 10, so it's not likely to outspeed the Sandshrew. Yeah. So this, uh, there's a fight right after this, um, the, where the trainer has a Sandshrew. We actually keep uh, Amber with a Clefairy. Uh, That's very tiny really one. good. Uh, Clefairy is a very good Pokemon to see here. Uh, Amber waiting for a few more things to spawn in. Uh, there can be like 50 things in this room. Uh, glowing Geodude. Glowing. So it goes for the Glowing Geodude first. Uh, that's actually very good. And does not get the good cycle. No. Very cringe cycle.
That's Pikachu up to level 12. We're not going to learn Double Team. That move is terrible. And, and a Clefairy, Clefairy on Tugger. Uh, last night, none of the runners got Clefairy. Wait, what? Uh, I don't think anyone got Clefairy last night. Wild. There is also a glowing Geodude on Tucker's screen, as well as the Paris. That's a fantastic. Everyone has Clefairy. Yep. Yeah, Tucker literally has all three on the screen, so that's fantastic. I have to worry about it. So the three pokes you're gonna Ooh, catch in here are in the circle. That's just a bad cycle. It, it's hard to get the X on that one without the good cycle. Uh, it stayed in though. Uh, the experience is going to be a little challenging for Ergo now though. Uh, hopefully this Clefairy will help. 82% with double poke, that's not that bad. You'll notice Amber decided to wait rather than yellow it immediately like Ergo did. Reason being is you want to guarantee the excellent catch. You can go for it, but if you get a quick jump or an attack immediately, um, you'll end up losing some EXP, so some players decide to wait on the Clefairy. I tend to as well. I don't like usually yellowing things this early. Thought we are doing some quick party management, dumping the... There's the great drill out of their party. Uh, and the good cycle on the Geodude. That Geodude is glowing. So we will see if it is a Wombo. It's not. It is not, but uh, that should be good enough experience for Tucker to be able to leave. Close. But, uh, like, with the Paris, if the, once they get the Paris, they'll be fine. Yeah, I believe there is a Paris in this room for Tucker. There is, yes. Um, no double Moonstone. Unfortunately for Amber, um, Amber just going to go ahead and go does not have Paris yet. So what we'll probably see here is Tucker going at like catching the Paris and we're going the deposit. We're go also going without the Paris. Yeah, Paris literally spawned for Ergo right before the ladder, which was unfortunate. So no double moonstone for any of our runners. There's the Paris. And you'll notice Amber depositing there. The reason being is like you do it loses time to level pokes, but also if you get Butterfree to level 13, it will learn three moves. And that's just a lot of time loss. So ideally you try to get Bellsprout out of like Butterfree out of the party as quick as you can. So Amber will be more than fine for 15. 
Yeah, but uh, both the bugs learn uh, moves at level 13, but uh, Butterfree learns an egregious amount at level 13. <laughs> Way too many. Yeah. It's like, let's just go uh, Amber moves, like, eight trying seconds. to navigate this maze of <laughs> bonds. Uh, gets through it. Uh, ergo, uh, heading through, doing the rocket cutscene, and then uh, continuing to make their way. Ergo even have enough EXP? I don't think they do. I, they are very close. Uh, they may need a bonus catch. Uh, they might just be like right on the cusp of 15. Oh no. Oh, oh. oh no, definitely oh. not. No, yeah, I thought Ergo was uh, level 14. No, Ergo is 13. We need a... Yeah. It's a no Paris and then not getting the excellent on the Geodude. Uh, there are a couple things you can do if you're not level 15 after Cerulean. Um, not all Rat. of them are great, <laughs> um, but uh, there could... are some options. I would probably look for Rat and Snake. More than likely. Snake would be preferable. Uh, it is just a bonus. Um, we want to get Rat at some point in the run. Uh, most people want to get Rat into mm -hmm. Raticate, um, but uh, Ergo is going to need something. Everyone it's getting... either that or they do the rival fight first. That fight is not fun when you are not level. No, it level is 13. not. That fight is miserable when you're under leveled. Uh, Amber starting the super nerd fight. All right, Razor, do you go Helix or Dome? Uh, in this one, always go Helix. If you're going in AOP, always Dome. Yep. All right. Uh, Ergo. Looks like they're going to go ahead and dump their party um, just to avoid... Uh... They are going to need one more Pokemon. They also uh, added heal because they're the, so yeah. low on EX, like on HP. Honestly, Zubat might not be a bad catch here. Um, it is very hard, difficult to get a good catch on it uh, for the experience, but depending on how close we are after this fight, um, might be worth getting a Zubat here. This would be the rare time I'd actually consider it. Just because, like, Golbat oh, is oh, Amber such a bad it. catch. Amber thought about it. Amber thought about the Clefable. Decided to not go for it. It literally is, Greta. It literally is. And almost always right as you start the cutscene, yeah. you're like, really? Or yeah, it's on the opposite side Clefable of a cutscene. Or Chansey there every time. Yup. Yup. Alright, so everyone, uh, on the Team Rocket fight, uh, the EV version, you want to kill the coughing uh, as quickly as possible. It can poison you. Um, if you have a good enough EV, uh, you can actually one-shot the coughing here. Make this a two-turn fight. Uh, Ergo is very far off of level 15. Yeah, Ergo uh, definitely uh, Onyx. needs to. Onyx would be a good spawn. Clefable would be a Clefable? good spawn. Clefable? Yeah. All right, Ergo's going to well, need some bonuses. Exit. Yeah. All right. Uh, ooh, there's there's a snake. snake. And a Psyduck. I'd actually get the Psyduck here. Um, I think... I'd see where this experience got me. I don't know that this neck gets you there. With this no, but I would also see off. if there was a rat here as well before I went for the Psyduck, because you want to get Raticate yeah. later. It's a nice experience bomb. Um, but, well, you don't want to lose out on getting Golduck later. So catching Psyduck here will lock you out of Golduck. Gotcha. 
And Ergo just no goes for it. No goes for it. Yep. I think that was the right call. Yep, I, I agree. Great instead of an excellent, but I think it should be enough. Uh, that'll be more than enough. Psyduck, Psyduck gets a lot of EXP, so it's fine. All right, so Amber teaching Zippy Zap. Uh, Zippy Zap is the special move for Pikachu that's here at Cerulean. Um, there's three locations for the special moves for these starters. Um, Cerulean, uh, Cerulean, Fuchsia, and Celadon. Um, Pikachu's move, uh, it has increased priority. Uh, ergo, I oh, don't think still ergo short. Hit, yeah, I think I don't think Ergo hit 15 yet. Uh, so Ergo going to catch the Spiro. Yeah, the the first Spiro that spawned just uh, took off. So this Could this should catch. catch. It could still catch uh, with zero uh, on ten. Barely, barely gets it for two. Zero catch on ten is sweaty. Yeah, it's that's tough. But no. So for the moves, uh, so Zippy's up for Pika is a plus two priority that will always crit and is fifty base power. 71%? That's not that bad. No, I, honestly, that's not bad at all. That's with double great great, not an excellent. You got an excellent, it's probably closer to 78. Yeah, it's probably like a like a four and five, like I'd go for that. Yeah, I would too. It's not bad. Um right, so Eevee's so moves are going to be a Oh, we'll go over it after this fight. Because Starmie... Amber gets through with a quick Oko on Starmie. Eevee, however, after, will not Oko the Starmie. We're going for the faster version of this fight. Or not the faster version, the two, two controller version of that fight. So what you do with Eevee is you set up an X special attack um, and then you go with Buzzy Buzz because it is a 90 base power move that will always paralyze. So you'll get outsped by the Starmie, but you'll then paralyze it and then outspeed the second turn. However, Starmie loves to go for Scald, which has a 30% chance to burn. Tucker is at 8 HP right now. Um, I don't think that's quick attack range. It, it's outside of quick attack range from one of them. If both go, if both Pika and Pidgey go for yeah, Tucker uh, just quick attack, like, it just dies. Here, yeah. At level 16, I think you need 11 or 12 HP to be fighting. Uh, ergo gonna ha go ahead and dump their party um, after the first fight. Yep. So while they go through these, the other two moves for Eevee are going to be a water type bouncy bubble that basically is 90 base power and it heals for half the damage it does. So basically it's a 90 base power water giga drain. It's incredibly powerful. And then Sizzly Slide is a 90 base power fire move that will always burn. Not broken. Now Eevee gets some uh, pretty ridiculous moves, whereas Pikachu just gets Zippy Zap. Uh, there are two other moves for Pikachu. Uh, we will not see them in the speed round. They are not very good. Um, Splishy Splash, is that the other one? Is that the water yes. one? Uh, Splishy Splash would be fantastic if we could get it way earlier, but that one I believe is in Fuchsia and it's, it's in Celadon, not actually. Or, uh, oh, it's in Celadon. Uh, uh, it's just by the time we get Splishy Splash, it's just far. It's not worth it. We, we don't need it. So, uh, but it would be really great if we could get it um, super early. But unfortunately, nope.
Like by the time you can get it, you'd only use it on one bite, and that's it. And it, it's just faster not to teach the move. All right, so Ergo is through Misty. Um, so Ergo heading to uh, the Rival 2 fight. And we're going to go ahead and do the two controller strat here on the Sand True Trainer, uh, the EV version. Uh, you're just going to use a super effective move for every single fight here. Um, the Pika version has to do a uh, little kind of weird stuff for uh, this fight specifically. This is like the only interesting fight um, on Nugget Bridge for Pikachu because uh, you have to do uh, kind of some weird menuing to be able to take out the Sand True. Uh, it does no dig. It, it does. It also knows Sand Attack. Um, you can go for Headbutt twice with the Pikachu, but that's a risky fight. I find a lot of people like to go to Controller there. Because Oddish is guaranteed to just outspeed and clear it. And it gives a nice spot to just kill the Pikachu. Uh, no, no Pokétax. A Hot Pocket is a Ravioli. does not kill the Pikachu. Oh. That minimum attack from Ergo? I think so. Pretty Ergo, sure that's minimum. Ergo's level 16, right? Yes. He hasn't hit 17 yet. Oh. Because that might be a range at 16. Incredibly low. Because Ergo is barely level, bar was barely 15. Yeah, Ergo is level 16. So I believe the Pikachu is a range at 16. And we're starting the Team Rocket fight. The Nugget Bridge is sponsored by Team Rocket and the Rocket Game Corner. Gonna go ahead and zippy zap all these Pokemon. Uh, Pikachu gets a lot of use out of these zippy zap moves, whereas Eevee just gets a lot of diversity in moves. The diversity in moves allows Eevee to just kind of blitz through a lot of the run without needing a second controller. Uh, you'll find Eevee likes to do so just to make, like, help set up. Um, Pikachu relies on other pokes to be able to manage fights. All right, so no bonuses for Amber and no Nox skip either. This is another difference here. Amber is going to grab the ether, whereas Eevee forgoes it. Yep. Well, that will help set up the god menu there. Uh, any bonuses for Tucker? There is a gnat, but it's kind of far. And Tucker's going to ignore the gnat. Yeah, I ignore the venonat unless I also see a meow. Tucker through the trainer skip. You'll notice Tucker going all the way to the top and then all the way to the fence. That trainer has a lot of vision. Yeah, she can see uh, very far and will catch you. She has eagle eye. Amber will pick up the ether. Uh, that does get... Uh, we, we need a PP restoring item uh, for a couple things in the run, but... Um, Eevee is going to skip that and grab a Max Elixir later in the run. Um, but Pikachu needs that to set up what is called God Menu. Um, so after our next shop, 
uh, we're going to set up our menu to where uh, all of our X items are just going to be one button click away. Um, so be, uh, menuing in battle will be much faster after setting this up. So shout outs to Etchy for figuring out how to get that set up exactly. Now, will we see a ditch bill here? No. Uh, I one can one can hope. I, I don't think three of the top runners in the game will, will I, ditch bill, but I don't can, think so. Not in a semifinal race. <laughs> we one can hope. We've seen one race where all three runners ditched bill. Right, and Amber is done with Cerulean. Gonna make their way out. Uh, see if there's any well, bonus catches here. Though, there is a cat. Low. There are two cats. Uh, Ergo is going to ignore both cats. They were both kind of far away. And Ergo also threw the trainer skip. Uh, gets caught by Fisherman Wayne instead of ta uh, talking to them, but uh, is a required fight, so um, not a big deal. <laughs> yes, Blended, that was my race. <laughs> we intentionally <laughs> set that up. Um, we all agreed on it prior and did not let anybody else know, so everyone's like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, so Pikachu uh, pointing out this giant hole in the wall. Um, I would like to point out to everybody that if you notice those footprints uh, that are on the ground, uh, those were made by that guy who just has regular boots on. So uh, he might have had his shoes off when he invaded the house. Those are really large footprints. Yeah, he needs to get special boots. <laughs> uh, it's, he gets them, cuts them ordered. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and skip the nanab berries. Um, I don't foresee any of these runners grabbing the nanabs, uh, but getting some nanab berries are nice uh, to make a couple catches later in the run uh, less awful, specifically Zubat and Ghastly. Um, and Abra if you see it, but uh, Abra is never a guarantee. If you see Abra, you, it's your loving life. It is a 4% spawn. All right, Trace is going to give us some revives, uh, some pretty useful items uh, that we need for later. So here in the underground, there's a bunch of free money items. Uh, the big one here is this nugget. Uh, there is a second money item uh, that you can pick up. We grab it in AOP. We do not grab it in this category because it is a random uh, money item. It can range from anything, I think, from a pretty wing to, I think, a pearl string. So you can get a pretty wing, a pearl, a big pearl, or a nugget. Big pearls, the other one, yeah. And there's two of them, actually. They're both hidden. Alright, so uh, on Amber's side, um, Amber really wants to see Puppy here. We really want to see Growlithe. Uh, Growlithe would be oh, huge. There there's the puppers. Puppy. Alright. Uh, for Ergo and Tucker... Um, they'll take any spawns. Uh, unfortunately, Growlithe does not spawn uh, in this game for those two. Uh, no, they would we get, to we get the better them. fire pup. Well, it's actually a fire fox. So the uh, reason Pikachu needs to get the Growlithe there is when it's at level 17, it already knows Flamethrower. For whatever reason, it, earned, it learns flamethrower so early, and Vulpix just does not. Yeah. 
Tucker getting a Pidgey. Um, so Tucker will actually be locked out of Pidgeot later in the run. Amber grabbing a rat. Uh, I don't, I don't hate catching rat here. Um, there's nothing, there's not a lot else on the route. Um, if things don't spawn, uh, there is a Vulpix for Tucker. Uh, kind of in the middle of the trainer skip, but uh, we will grab this Vulpix. Yeah, I don't hate grabbing Rat here. It's only, I think, two yeah. levels away from evolving, maybe three. Uh, it's three. You get it at 17, and then it evolves at 20. Um, Amber going to go ahead and shuffle their way through that trainer skip, so just kind of walking directly in the middle of them. Uh, they're... They, they are, uh, they're very, um, <laughs> they're very, they're very, blind. Near, they're very <laughs> nearsighted, so they can't, they can't see things far away, so. Uh, so Amber gonna go ahead and do, uh, kind of, uh, the, we do three shops in the entirety of the run. Uh, this is the second one. I think this is, I don't think this is the largest shop. I think the final shop is actually a little, just, just slightly larger. Uh, Tucker also gonna shuffle their way through the trainer skip. There's an Abra, but it spawns after the skip. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, Ergo starting the Route 6 catches now. Uh, again, Ergo uh, wants to see Vulpix. Uh, Vulpix is a very good catch. It can fix even odd problems. Uh, also going to go for the Pidgey. Amber Interesting rather than going for the Pidgey aunt. So both of these runners will be locked out of Pidgeot. Um, I guess they could get Pidgeot if something goes catastrophically wrong, but um, don't foresee that happening. And they could if they just don't evolve this and then they catch Pidgeot later, but that's not what it's uh, Fun fact, if you are doing this game in the beat red category, you do catch Pidgey here. Technically, you can catch Pidgey anywhere uh, for Beat Red. Visible picks. Uh, but this would be where you catch Pidgey, and then you would get um, Pidgeotto on uh, 17 for the Beat Red category. A category I've never run. That's a fun category. Uh, I do recommend it. It's any percent with extra stuff. Uh, that's the only downside is that it's basically just any percent for the first like three hours. I'll probably stick to AOP. Yeah, get more catching. Yeah, AOP is a very good category. It's a lot of fun until things just decide not to spawn. Uh, ergo, very good trainer skip for Ergo. Unfortunately, uh, there was a Jigglypuff on that route, but it was very far away. So right now, our two, all three of our runners do not have Jigglypuff. Fortunately, though, Puff can spawn on the way back up on six. It can also spawn on seven and eight between Lavender and Celadon. Yeah, many chances to get uh, Jigglypuff um, for the EV runners. Uh, they would like to see Jigglypuff, um, as it is the only Moonstone Pokemon that does not learn a move upon evolution. Um, so they would like to see Jigglypuff to use that Moonstone on, uh, otherwise they'll be using it on a one of the Nidorans, hopefully, uh, as long as those spawn in as well. Um, you can use it on Clefable uh, if you want, uh, not recommended, but you could. I'd sooner use it on Nidoking and go Nidoking Strats if I have a bad Eevee. Yeah. Nido King Strats goaded. Alright, so Amber is getting through. Ooh! Bellsprout faint for Tucker. I think. Yeah, the Eevee was not faster Eevee's than the Eevee's not there. fast enough. It got outsped. Yep. It was literally one level shy. So that um, will require. That not the worst thing to happen. Um, it does kind of mess up party management for a little bit. Um, so you'll probably have to keep the Vulpix just a little bit longer than you want to. Or the Pidgeotto, I believe. Uh, both both Ergo and Tucker got Pidgey. Um, so you'll want to keep those in your party just a little bit longer. Uh, there is a free heal coming up. Your whole party gets healed.
There is, but you actually just use the revive here on the yeah. third fight. Yeah, you do have a free turn here, so you can burn one of the revives. Yeah, level 18 with plus speed makes this a lot easier for Ergo. They almost certainly outspeed the Pidgeotto here. All right, and we're going to make their way <clears throat> to Rock Tunnel. And they also have the Route 6 skip coming back up. But yeah, it's also the skip. easiest way. Yep. Uh, the skip is a little easier on the way out. Kind of difficult to line up on the way in, but uh, on the way out, you just line yourself mm. up with piles and out you go. Uh, there is a duck there. Tucker and Amber are going to hold off on the duck until about 17. 17. Yeah. And get gold duck that way. Yeah, 19 and a plus the death AV. Yeah, getting a plus uh, defense AV is uh, kind of rare because hasty is no, a minor death, not defense. Oh, special defense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not where you want to see that AV go. Uh, you want your no, AV it is not. Attack. You want to see that in special attack. Tucker, uh, good skip on the way out as well. But does not get the puff. No puff. So. So here's a little bit of a different fight here on Alicia. Is Pikachu is going to go to controller because there is a gloom here. So being able to set up X special attack on the Growlithe and using Flamethrower will guarantee the kill. Unless, of course, this Growlithe is garbage. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> Gets through but, the Eevee just fine. Yeah, it's not too bad. Eevee just goes guard spec turn one because Eevee does have Growl, Tail Whip, and Sand Attack. Two of those being very bad. You don't want to see them. So you set up Guard Spec turn one, then set up X, uh, X attack and go. Amber, unfortunately, not one shotting the gloom here. It's not a great growler. Nope. Not a good puppers. Uh, but yeah, for the EV version of this fight, they just set up an item and then. Uh, you just buy one guard spec for this. Um, there's also a free guard spec you can pick up. It's a bit out of the way. Um, behind the gentleman uh, on the route that Ergo is about to head into. And good skip from Ergo on the way out. So uh, nice uh, Pidgeotto dodge there. And still going into route nine and ten. No, none of our runners have. In fact, none of our runners are ahead on catches, actually. Yeah, Amber is at uh, 14 catches. It's going rather into... low. Oh, yeah, it's, that's a bit low. Uh, Ergo's at 17. That's That's pretty average for this part. Uh, Tucker is, uh, I believe, 17 as well. Uh, nope, 16. Uh, unfortunately, I believe Amber lost the Growlithe. Yes. Yep, and gets through the fight anyway. It's perfectly fine. Like, the there's a free heal, and Growlithe doesn't need extra levels, really. In fact, it being dead here is uh, really good because it's not gaining experience. This is true. Because Amber is going to be using Nido King late, assuming male Nido actually spawns, of course. 
fact, you see her depositing the pot. Yep. All right, so Amber going to go ahead and uh, wait for the spinner here. Uh, sometimes this uh, this uh, spinner can be a little little trolly, but uh, all right. So Amber going to go ahead and grab the Spiro right off the bat. Doesn't wait for things to spawn. There's some people that like to wait, and then there's some who just go. Yeah, it's interesting the not waiting there. The only other thing I saw on the grass there was a Rattata, which uh, Amber already has. I tend to wait just to allow more things to spawn and not have the extra spawn chance from a chain. Uh, Tucker waiting on this guy to spin. Uh, a couple rats. A crab. crab is good. Crab, crab is a good bonus. Mid arena. Mid arena is an interesting one. Uh, Tucker grabbing. <laughs> Mido and Mid arena for Tucker. <laughs> now, right. if I'm actually needing EXP, I'd actually go for the mid there, but. So Krabby is a nice bonus uh, for Amber. Amber I still would like to going, see yes. pretty much everything in the run, though. Still needs a Nito. Yep. Still needs a Nito. You can do the next section without it, but you need some good luck on spawns. Uh, specifically, Rhyhorn needs to spawn. Alright. Uh, there's a blue Nito. Yeah, so we got blue Nidoran. I th think Nidoran male spawned as well. There was a purple thing uh, to her left. I, I don't do know do. if it was rat though. I couldn't tell. Burger with two Spearows but already has Spear. Uh, a bunch of Nidorans as well. It looks like Tucker's also going to repel here uh, just to take out the spawns and respawn the route. Tucker still needs male Nido. Tucker has male Nido. Tucker just oh, got said female, female Nido. Nido. Sorry. Uh, and... And already has a burp, so Tucker's good. They can just go. Yeah. We're going the Krabby and... They're gone. They do have 48 plan, which is not great. Um, but they can quickly plan on getting. Yeah, there's there's a couple things that can spawn for. Um, all right, so it was a Rattata that spawned on Amber screen, but a Nidoran spawned anyway. So the male Nido there is really good. All right, Tucker is going to bail on this route and head off to the rocket fight. 19 pot enter is yeah this is a little scary well it's 20 now with gloom Virgo does get the crab um so ergo at 52 catches um, Ergo should also be safe to just kind of go. Um, they may want Nidoran mail before they leave the route, but it's mm -hmm. not super necessary. I guess... Uh, this is a tough one, actually, because you don't I... have... Uh, actually, no, you do want Nidoran mail uh, before you go, you actually. Do. Yeah, because uh, Jigglypuff didn't spawn, and on Eevee version... Um, you can get it. Um, it's just you have to cut the bush to see it in the grass, and also no. if it doesn't on on the way to Celadon. Um, so it's just one less patch of grass that you can see it in. Um, Pika version is gonna cut the bush and grab the Firestone that's in there. So you could cut Nine Tails and uh, Jigglypuff. Yeah, considering that Ergo's already planning Ninetales, I would actually go ahead and cut the bush. Yeah. 
because you could also get something like Abra or yeah. Um, that, at that point, when you're when you need the like when you're planning on the nine tails and you don't have Puff yet, that's the one time I would actually go ahead and cut it. Uh, Tucker gonna be the first one to enter a tunnel. Uh, looks like a graveler and a Machop to start with. It's not bad. Ideally, you get Rhyhorn immediately because that saves a lot of time. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, getting a decent cycle from the Graveler. I'm actually curious how much time it saves getting a Rhyhorn early other than later. I timed it once and I don't remember how much it was. At hazard, I guess it's probably like 30, 40 seconds. It's, it's, I, I know seeing Ponyta immediately on 17 is 40 seconds. I would 40 assume seconds it's time around save? That. Wow. Yeah, it's around 40 seconds. Uh, Amber with an immediate Rhyhorn spawn. Uh, is gonna go for the Cubone first. Uh, the Cubone was kind of already spawned in, uh, when the Rhyhorn spawned in, so. But getting Rhyhorn early also means that Rhyhorn can actually get to 25, potentially even 26, for a good two-turn fight on JMJ. Ergo getting super trolled, uh, like the frame, uh, like the at the last possible frame uh, is when it moved. So Ergo getting everything on uh, 10. Uh, Amber has the ability to just uh, dump their party here. A little bit of party management, and then going to go ahead and get this Rhyhorn. So Rhyhorn will be our first. Uh, Pokemon uh, in this game, so uh, there is no bike in this game. This is the only Kanto game without a bike, um, but you can ride your Pokemon instead. So we will be riding our Rhyhorn. Uh, increased movement speed, it does allow you to move a little bit faster. Um, all three of our runners cutting the bush as well. Uh, ergo, grabbing the uh, extra great balls as well. That will probably get Amber both Nito's evolved. It's a horrible spot for Onyx this farm. Uh, uh, ergo going is for it? for it. Going for Tunnel Onyx. That's bold. And, and it's the first in. ball. That, all right. I think that is fine. Uh, and we're under also fifty percent, by the way. Huh? That's under fifty percent. It's a fifty percent catch. <laughs> That's also a very good spot to catch it too, because uh, Ergo's party yeah, the was Wombo full. Onyx. Yeah. The big Onyx. Ergo's party was full too, so Ergo doesn't even need to worry about depositing. Mm. This Onyx can just. <laughs> Do the normal menu and not have to worry about it. That's really good for Ergo getting the extra EXP considering no attack AVs. Uh, there's just a bunch of Onyxes on Tucker's screen now. <laughs> so, Ergo being on the Onyx catch chain has uh, just kind of infected its way to Tucker's game. Tucker's like, yeah, gee, thanks, Ergo. <laughs> uh, Amber still has not fought the uh, uh, the Pokemaniac yet, uh, just because Amber's caught so many things at the start. Uh, there's the Nido. All right, Tucker ran into the Onyx. Are we going to do it? Nope. nope. All right. Smart. All right, so Amber. Uh, Amber's at 26 now. 
Um, all three of our runners are actually at 26, so uh, 26 is a pretty good catch count uh, for this point in the game. Ergo revolving into the Nido King. Given this EV, we may well see some Nido King strats in hideout from Ergo. Did we already get Graveler? Tugger did already get Graveler, okay. Yes. Or also got Zoob. Yeah, Tucker already got the, the Oh bat. no, I'm not going for it. Alright, it's Tucker starting uh, the Pokemaniac fight, the second one. Uh, this fight, not great. This is one of the fights that you really don't want to be minus speed for. Yeah, no, because you can get out sped and then it can just sit here and either flinch you or just spam comma punch. Ooh, Ergo getting a Rhyhorn. Very nice. Uh, Amber with some good movement there to dodge the Zubat there. So Amber starting the Kangaskhan fight. Tucker the only one without a right horn now. Tucker does need Rhyhorn. Uh, this oh no, an Onyx on top to of him. <laughs> uh, just gonna run away from this Onyx. Uh, and unfortunately, that did mess up the spinner. It reset the spinner cycle, correct? Yeah. Oh, that is so little HP. Oh no, that's an Onyx. Uh, is Amber gonna go for the Onyx? Nope. All right. Uh, Amber does get the grapple though. Rare Char from Ergo. Ooh. All right, well, this is very good for Ergo. Um, so this is just an extra bonus catch, but this does fix their uh, catch route a little bit. So now they can kind of cut. Uh, they can cut out the Jigglypuff and the Ninetales safely. And first ball, too. That's really, yep. really good. And double greats on that one as well. Yeah, we're going to just cut out Nine Tails and Puff as planned. Yep. So that'll cut out uh, those two Pokemon. So Ergo doesn't even need to worry about those. Uh, need to worry about the Jigglypuff spawn. If it spawns, great. Uh, if not, um, it's not uh, the end of the world. So the catch rate is fine. Uh, I just realized that Tucker's Eevee is burned. That's a horrible start to that fight. Yes, getting burned on this fight is terrible. You have to two controller this fight if you get burned uh, on Eevee version. I don't. I can still remain one controller, just burn heal and go. Unless I'm minus bit F. Tucker had the right poke in at that point to take the side beam. Yep. Eevee uh, does not need that needle. Nope. Alright, so Tucker 
All right, so I believe Amber is actually done with rock tunnel catches. I think they have caught everything. Um, yes. So Amber. Amber can safely just leave tunnel or attempt to leave tunnel. Um, Tucker is still looking still for no Rhyhorn. On the still last no fight, no Rhyhorn. <laughs> Yeah, Tucker's still looking for Rhyhorn. I think that's the only thing that hasn't spawned for Tucker yet. And with a 26 poke. Tucker is not going to bone either. Uh, Tucker actually only has 48 planned right now. 26 exit is extremely low. Yeah, I think... So not leaving without Cubone is fine, or leaving without Cubone is fine. Cubone can spawn in tower. It's incredibly rare in tower. Um, it's actually a little bit better to get it in tower because it involves in one level instead of the four it takes catching it in tunnel. Um, but uh, Tucker still needs to find another two Pokemon. Uh, Tucker is uh, an additional two short, and I'm not sure where Tucker can find another two at. Uh, they don't have tentacle marked, so that'll probably be the 49th and 50th there. It probably will be. Uh, Tucker oh. still mm, waiting I around don't... for it, not seeing it. So Tucker's just going to go. Uh, going to have to cut the Rhyhorn and find one extra Pokemon. Uh, finding one isn't too bad. Uh, you can do Magmar, Ditto. Uh... Not so... having that is really slow. Yeah, it is a lot of time you lose. You lose over a minute to not having that. I think we'd set, like, I think we'd figured out it was like almost a minute and a half time loss. I would not be shocked. I know I, I did the math on it one time, but I, it's, it, it's, it's some so note file bad. that I just don't want to find. <laughs> It's so bad. It's very. I know my my PB does not get Rhyhorn. I do not see it in my PB. Last free time save. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's how I felt. I was like, well, yeah, free free time, free free uh free gold split next time. So, uh, Amber uh, out of uh, tunnel with twenty eight, which is still not great. Admittedly. No, it's very low. The uh, Ergo is doing great on catches. Uh, I believe Ergo is actually done with catching. Uh, oh, no. Oh, we left a lure. No, no, they don't have chop. Oh, really? Yeah, you're right. No they don't have much chop. That's a weird one. My chop's pretty common here. Yeah, 34, potentially 35 exit for Ergo is really good. Amber about to start rival three or rival four. Uh, Amber is at 28 catches. Amber has 52 plans, so can still cut some things if they don't spawn can cut ghastly if it doesn't spawn uh can cut grimer um but does still have things like pidgeot marked so it does also have buff mark oh so it's 51 planned then so yeah can uh, cut uh, well, well uh amber has a uh amber has the to fire cut stone anyway. so there's a very uh, good yeah. chance that they see it anyway yeah. And there's the Machop for Ergo. Ergo's going to have at least 35. That is very good. Uh, Ergo... That Ergo's going to be able to... Ergo's going to have a very flexible uh, kind of end game. Yes. Kinda just kind of do whatever they want for the last couple catches of the run. My PB had 35 exiting uh, Rock Tunnel. It's... Uh, not exactly what I would call fun to compare against. Um, so Ergo gonna have to menu here uh, to get the Machop in the party. Or I can do that after this fight. Um, so Amber and Tucker both finished with Rival 4. Uh, this will be the last time we fight Rival for quite a while, actually. Uh, we're not gonna see Rival for about another hour and a half.
So Ember is slightly ahead here. In fact, I'd actually say Ember's decently ahead because having the Rhyhorn will make up a lot of time there. Yeah, it might seem like Ergo's very behind, um, but Ergo has way more catches than everyone else and is almost done with Tunnel. Uh, there's actually only one fight left um, for Ergo. I'm doing a little bit of party management to get the Krabby in the party Miss as well. Yeah, they, they accidentally just... Like deposit the Krabby rather than the. Oh, Argo hitting oh, an optional! No. Oh no! No! That's such a bad optional, too. Oh. It's a well, Nidorino. One mod. It's a Nidorino. This one's not the worst. Uh, oh. We don't really have a good way to hit it. Didn't get poisoned, so... Bad. It's just a two-shot, uh, but that's fine. Yeah, uh, the girl is way worse to hit. I think she has oh, three gosh. Pokemon. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have hit this oh, boy no. before. Um, if you if you enter the route at, like, a certain time, um, it's, uh, like, the way he's, like, standing, if you're too fast going down, uh, he can catch you. Yeah. I also hug the wall on the left, just... Yeah. And make sure that I've there hit it before, and I know I'm careful. Watch up there. Unfortunately, the spinner was looking up at the time. Tucker actually going with Nita. Oh, Amber has an Abra on their screen. That's so good. And Amber is going for the Abra, so this will uh, this will help Amber out a lot. Uh, Amber does have some nanabs, so we'll go ahead and nanab this uh, Abra. Uh, does not get a uh, excellent throw on it, but that is fine. Uh, Tucker, um, no Rhyhorn, obviously, uh, so just kind of making their way through the route. Amber avoiding this uh, puppy here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Firestone. And get uh, the Raticate. To turn and going for the Raticate. So uh, suddenly Amber's catch count is pretty fine. Yeah, that Abra helps out a lot. Yeah, Tucker also going for the Radicate again. Gets an excellent, almost gets uh, almost gets trolled there, but uh, does get away with it. So, uh, gonna go ahead and both 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 these runners getting uh, Radicate here. So that's very good. Um, Amber now at fifty four plan. So uh, Amber's got a fairly good catch count. Uh, can kind of cut some things. Uh, has a fairly uh, kind of easier end game now. Uh, Ergo still having the best kind of uh, flexibility of everybody uh, due to all the bonuses that Ergo's gotten. Yeah, Ergo has a lot of flexibility. Uh, Amber going to go ahead and dodge the spinners uh, that are on that route. Uh, fun fact, the gambler trainers there, uh, they all have Oko moves as the only moves that they have. So if you end up hitting one of them accidentally, uh, your run can just end immediately. Uh, yeah, because you're a lower level than they are. Well, can be. A uh, bunch of puppies. Um, so no Jigglypuff yet for uh, Amber. That is probably going to be the end of Jigglypuff. Uh, being on the tracker for Amber, uh, there is one more chance to see it, uh, but uh, by then you should kind of know what your catches look like. You don't want to have to be yep. resetting uh, outside of Saffron when you need to go to Saffron. So uh, Amber setting up. Uh, the... Even then, Amber has 54 plans, so. 
Yeah, Amber probably will cut Grimer. Uh, I, I can see Amber cutting Grimer, the Grimer line, Jigglypuff, and Pidgeot. Or or Pidgey, uh, depending on what spawns on 17. Yep. So, Or could just cut Ghastly, because Ghastly never spawns. So. Yeah, Ghastly's a line. Yeah, Gas Ghastly is a scam. It doesn't, it doesn't spawn in tower. <laughs> could be worse. You could be required to catch a Haunter. <laughs> never, never been that desperate. Uh, Haunter alt main requires it. I wonder why. Uh, because <laughs> Ghastly by level thirty three loses Sucker Punch, and you need Sucker Punch. Oof. Because Sucker Punch is the way you get past. Agatha. Well, no, not Agatha. Um, Sabrina. Right, so Amber through the rocket fight. So these two sections here, uh, both Amber and uh, Tucker are on the rocket hideout. Uh, so these are going to look very different for both of these runners. Uh, Tucker actually has the Nido King, so uh, they actually might look very similar now that I think about it. Yeah, Tucker looks like he's going for the Nido King struts. Uh, of note, uh, and Amber is starting the Hypno fight. Uh, this is the one fight that Nido Queen is better for. Uh, you want Nido King because it has a better move pool, uh, just a little bit of stronger moves. But uh, if you do have to go Nido Queen, uh, this this fight in particular is better with Nido Queen because uh, it comes it's with punch, and you can just one shot this uh, Hypno. Or. You barely missed that range. Oh, <laughs> that's so close. That's, that was really so close. Actually tells me Amber's got a pretty decent Nido King. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my god ergo talking to the right oh. horn at the exact right time oh that was terrifying <laughs> that could have been really bad Ooh, i've I, I have no clue what that trainer has so that would have been an experience for i all don't of us. know either <laughs> oh that was an incredible timing on uh talking to rhyhorn there Uh, Tucker gonna go ahead and start the uh, the the Voltorb guy fight. Uh, all the rocket guys don't have names; they're just called Grunt. So uh, we just call them whatever they have. Uh, so this is Voltorb guy. He has a he has a Rattata and a Voltorb. Uh, Greta running comms, Com like hell yeah. Yo, we have Greta coming. Do it. I'm down. Greta, come on, come on, come join. <laughs> I just, oh god, uh, how do I, how do I undo that? <laughs> uh, uh, so Ergo just taught the final move that Eevee's gonna get, which is Glitzy Glow, which is a 90 base power psychic move that sets up light screen. Yeah, so Glitzy Glow is basically Psychic plus Light Screen. Very dumb move. Uh, as we said, uh, Eevee gets some really dumb moves. Um, even it's the ones we don't at all. see in the speedrun are very it, good. You mean the, uh, it doesn't learn the best one, Batty Bad? Batty Bad? It's a shame that like Batty Bad is just not good, because you could use it for the Hypno fight, but that would be could. the only fight you'd use it on. <laughs> so <laughs> yes. it's not worth getting. Well, it's a 90 base power dark move that sets up 
Yeah, Before, unfortunately, that's the only <laughs> fight you would use it on, so it's not good to get. Not worth teaching one move for that one it's, fight. But... It's really not. Uh, yeah, Evie and also has other like, moves anyway. Yeah, Evie also has like three other moves that we never see, and like I don't think any category sees them. Uh, maybe Evie Alt Main. Uh, it has a move for Leafeon, a move for uh, Glaceon, and a move for Sylveon. Um, the I don't know what the Fairy and Ice ones do, but I know the Grass one sets up Leech Seed. <laughs> So we we wouldn't see that one in a speed run anyway because that one's really slow. Thirty six pokes right now for. That's very good catch count. Can Ergo get to forty by the end of Tower? Uh, I think they can. Uh, because. Well, you'd have Ghastly, and it would require both. Ghastly, huh? uh, Ghastly, and Cubone would have Cubone would have to evolve, and so would Machop, and I don't think either of those are going to. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think they can. The highest I think Ergo could get to is thirty nine, but I I don't see a world where Cubone and Machop evolve before the end of I Tower. I don't see a world where either do, but yeah. Or more than likely a 37 poke, which is still really high. Yeah. We've seen Ergo, as high as 40. Ergo has cut quite a lot of things from the catch uh, counter. Uh, pretty much just has the essentials mark now. Uh, Ghastly, uh, the star, Doduo, and um, if everything goes well. according to plan, Ergo only has to catch four more Pokemon for the entire run. Five. Uh, no, it would be just the it'd be the pony, the coughing, the doduo. Oh, five. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, I was I would, like my brain's like you don't catch star because <laughs> the run doesn't happen if star doesn't exist. <laughs> it's like required to get star me. I mean, you could do turn it into an alt main if you really want to go crazy. Ooh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, you could do Eevee all name. Uh, there is like a I don't where's the where's the Eevee candies that are on the ground? I know there's some in Victory Road. I'm I'm sure I've never done so I don't I have never done all main either. I've uh, done a bunch of alt main. That's the only one I've done. Uh, I've only done alt mains on Sword and Shield. Alt mains are fun. I will agree. Alt mains are very fun. All right, so uh, both Amber and Tucker are going to go ahead and start the first archer fight, the easier of the two archer fights in the run. Uh, we say easier uh, as if this fight was easy. Uh, this fight is... Uh, this fight's not hard. Uh, it's just kind of annoying. It's actually very easy, and Amber has it very easy because Pikachu will just flat out outspeed. Yep. Uh, the EV version is a little scarier, but not that much scarier. The only way this fight gets oh, scarier is Oh, it does not poison. kill the Weezing. Ooh. Uh, that's still fine. You just heal here. Uh, Amber might have very low special attack. What level is 29? Uh, with 65 special. rather low yeah uh does get kingler out of that so amber will be at 31 so let's see what does amber need to catch uh amber has 52 plans they can cut one thing uh they've actually cut pidgeot they need to and... catch six so yeah so I foresee Amber probably cutting either Ghastly or Grimer. Uh, fun fact, none of our runners have tentacle marked, so that is a good thing. It's, it's a bad day when you have to go catch tentacle. Uh, Tucker will almost certainly have to, though. 
Uh, oh, Tucker, Tucker does have 47 planned. Plan. Yes. So Tucker, uh, Tucker will likely have to mark uh, Tentacool, and we'll need to find one additional Pokemon. Uh, there's a couple things Tucker can do. Uh, backup Magmar Ditto. Magmar Ditto. Backup Angelina. Moonstone. Yeah. Could also do. Oh no, we already passed the Firestone, so we can't. EV into Flareon is not even an option. Mm, no, there's a Firestone in. No, we need that one for Nine Tails on Tuckers. Oh, true. Yeah. I mean, you would never. There's no planet you ever do like EV in a Nine Tails on. <laughs> I can't imagine how many things have gone wrong. We need to do that. That <laughs> would be so bad. Uh, on Pika version, you can do Eevee into Ninetales. Uh, it's not recommended e at all. Eevee into Ninetales? You mean Eevee into Flareon? Yeah, you can do Eevee into Flareon on uh, uh, Eevee version, but it's not recommended. because I, I didn't know that Eevee stuck. evolved into Ninetales. That's new to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. <laughs> Helping hand through para, yeah. And gets it. But Good. does not kill. Oh! Oh, gets a crit on the... Uh... Alright, so that's not the worst. Uh, we can still get through this fight. Uh, they should be fine. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and revive the Pika. Yeah, so Amber through the fight uh, did lose a little bit of time to Tucker. Uh, Tucker about to talk to my favorite NPC in the game. This guy's just shouting at you through a megaphone while he's like two feet in front of you. <laughs> so un, so rude of him. Yeah, yeah, you don't need you don't need your ear jumps at all. Let Dude, I'm I'm right here. You don't like like look at this. He's just <laughs> screaming into a megaphone while you like staring. <laughs> One of my favorite NPCs, like in all of Pokemon. Never mind that we already skipped a. Well, don't try this at home moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this game's great. Yeah, this 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 is this is a fantastic game. Uh, Amber gonna go ahead and pick up uh, the uh, extra stack of ultras here. There's five ultra balls just hanging out here for some reason on the floor. Uh, Amber needing to catch six things to be done, so uh, having the extra ultras does help there. Yep. So it does look like Amber is a little behind here on Tucker, but she does have two extra pokes. And again, also has the right poke, which will again save a lot of time. So I'd still very much say Amber's in the lead here. Yes. Especially since Tucker is going to need to find uh, one additional Pokemon, uh, can't always add a uh, Tentacool. Um. Actually, Tucker's down to 45 Pokemon now on their tracker. What did they cut? Good night, Tex. Oh, they cut Cubone as well. So, ooh, Tucker's mm. actually... Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh. Yeah, I forgot Tucker didn't get Cubone in oh, tower. No. Oh, no. Ooh. So we really need Cubone to spawn here. Uh, Cubone is... If, if they don't, this should... This could very quickly go into. What do you do here? Uh, I mean, you could go. I mean, you could do Venonat and Venomoth. This <laughs> oh uh, is not the worst option. Uh, <laughs> there's uh, you get Forbidden Drowsy and Diglett. Uh, it does get Ghastly, though, so that is a very good thing that's happened. So, uh, Ghastly spawning is very good. Yeah, you could go Drowsy into Diglett. Um, Tangelina plus Magmar. That's possible as well. Uh, that's probably the more likely one. Uh, Diglett, Diglett Drowsy is for, like, 
uh, like an absolute last resort, like Tangela and Magmar didn't spawn. Honestly, at this point, if Tucker doesn't get the Cubone, it might turn into you need to get Tangelina Jolie, Magmar, and Ditto, all three. Unless you get Chansey. Uh, oh, Chansey can spawn as well. Um, Chansey's not... I don't, I don't recommend going for Chansey in Mansion. Oh, gosh. No. Uh, but <laughs> it... It is theoretically a catch. Um, Amber. And the other theory is potentially getting like a Pidgeotto and then going into Pidgeotto. That's slower. Yeah. It's. Because we're at Tucker's in a Tucker's an odd number too, so it, it's really weird because you can't just like find two catches. You also need like one extra thing. Which kind of makes us a little challenging. And so, Ergo sees uh, the Eevee die. Oh, that's not good. Um, so Ergo gonna... Looks like we're gonna revive this uh, Eevee here. Yeah, they went for the double edge and got... Killed with the recoil. Uh, it looks like we're just gonna bubble beam some things. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We could have just double bubble beam that. That's good to know, though. Uh, I wonder what the range is on that. If like you have Kingler and you can just bubble beam that. So no Cubone for Tucker. Tucker will have to find two Pokemon. So um, I think Tucker's best option here would be to add the Tentacool um, oh, and definitely. then uh, um, back up Moonstone gets happy. you to that gets you to 48. Um, and then you just need to find two things. So like Magmar and uh, Tangela. Magmar, Tangela, Ditto, something. Uh, Backup Moonstone. I, is Backup Moonstone... I can't imagine Backup Moonstone is faster than, like, catching, like, Ditto or something. Depends on how you are on Pokeballs, because Ditto can be a bit of yeah, a Yeah, Ditto's... Because, like, you might need to see all three. And, and with how much Tucker needs to catch here, I'd actually argue Rob for the double. Yeah. I, I think you go with the Saffron Moonstone. Yeah. Yeah, so those that really unfortunate. Yeah. So those that don't know, uh, there is an extra moonstone in Saffron. Uh, it is uh, hidden in the copycat's house, so you can use it, evolve the Clefairy uh, for one extra Pokemon. Um, but Tucker does need to find two more Pokemon. And Tucker is running out of time to find them although there are a lot of good options so um i wouldn't count it out just yet so magmar tangela ditto uh two of the three spawning and then tucker is good to go and there's a standard fight for pika so they actually send out um the growl their turn one in the 2c to bait the oko from the arba And they can set up to plus two, well, plus four on the Pikachu on turn two. And you're guaranteed to get through. And then Pika will quickly use a Firestone on the fly menu here. Oh, they'll use a fire Firestone after the flute to quickly evolve into Arcanine and use that as a right because that is faster than even. Yep, and Amber is through the. Uh, Amber is through the Team Rocket fight. Uh, ergo, with a very good spinner pass there. Uh, we talked earlier about uh, the trainers in this game kind of having like no vision. That that lady has absolutely no vision. Tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. We're like, they literally see in a straight laser line. 
Yeah, yeah like, like you have no peripheral vision at all. It doesn't. Yeah, if you, if you just hug the wall, that girl can't see you at all. Which makes no sense to me. Uh, is Tucker going to start the Snorlax fight? Ergo getting the double. Oh, no! The, the quick spin no, right there! He misses it. Oh no, Ergo. Oh no! And Ergo's gonna call it right there. Yeah, it looks like. that's the two spinners is very difficult. I think that lady too. I think she has three Gastlies as well. So that's not like hitting one of the the easier optionals where they only have like one Mon. Like that lady has a ton of Pokemon. Yeah, she's got. I think. Yeah, she has like Pokemon. three or four Gastlies or something. It's like a it's a ridiculously dumb fight. Spinner for Ergo is really unfortunate, but Ergo was already behind. Yeah. Now, uh, Tucker uh, gonna go ahead. So, uh, unfortunate for Ergo, uh, was a fairly good run up until that point. Uh, but still, uh, semifinals, uh, very good uh, finish there for Ergo. Agreed. Uh, Tucker uh, getting the Do Duo. So Tucker will need everything to spawn on this route, but again, Tucker just There's needs to find early uh, pony. Pokemon, and Tucker is fine. Uh, early, early Pony is very, very good, good, especially since er uh, Tucker did not get um, uh, uh, Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn. Tucker gonna go ahead and mark the Ponytaws, the ride Pokemon. Gonna go ahead, uh, burn a rare candy on this Ponyta, and it will immediately evolve into Rapidash, and that will be the ride uh, for the rest of the run. Meanwhile, Amber is gonna quickly talk to the Snorlax. So this will be their last chance to see a shiny Snorlax uh, in this race. We did see one last year. It was very hype. Matt also got one in an AOP run against, like, in an AOP race against me. Oh, this is not shiny. So nope. it's not shiny. So that's sad. Unfortunate. So. Now, the question is, will Amber go for the Pidgeys that are up above? Um. So Amber does need. Uh, can take all three of them, actually. Uh, they do have Pidgey marked. Um, probably worth it to go for at least the Pidgeotto up there. And doesn't. No, gonna skip it. Okay. Um, so maybe implying that they'll be cutting uh, Pidgey from their catch rod. They do have 52 planned, so uh, Amber can cut uh, one evolution line and still be okay. So probably saying that if it spawns on 17, I'll get it. If not, uh, I can cut it and it's fine. Yeah, I'm um, still does have a little bit of leeway to can add. Uh, we'll go for the Pidgey here then. Yep. So the thinking there, like Greta mentioned, is if there's two things up there, then you go for it. If not, then you don't because it's just slower. And you hope they spawn later. Yeah, which in this case did. They are planning the Pidgey. Interesting. So they will need to cut one Pokemon uh, because they're on an odd number. So they will need to cut one thing. Just probably a Muck. Yeah, I think maybe just catch Grimer and then box it immediately. As you can well, see, actually, the, the no, power of the ride you, Pokemon. You're foregoing three pokes, so. There's the pony and the bird. 
for Amber. So, so Amber... I think it's forego the Psyduck and forego Muck. So cut, cut Duck and cut Wait, uh, Muck. So well, you could cut, have. Cut, you could Amber's cut. Not involved Zubat yet. Uh, no, it just evolved now. Uh, like, same with the Kadabra. So, uh, Amber can do one of two things, either cut Psyduck and cut Muck, or uh, can cut both the Psyduck line and the Grimer line and just catch like a Magmar or something if it spawns. I would actually sooner just catch Grimer because it's easier. That's it, almost a guaranteed catch. Yeah. Oh, Tucker is going to buy. Uh, looks like Tucker is going to buy some lures. Tucker is aware of their catch situation, um, so is going to pick up some extra lures. Oh, and going to and 15. going to get the Venonat. This is actually very good, so you don't have to burn a rare candy on it. Uh, you just catch it and then go, and it will gain a level. It needs to spawn though. Yeah, that's that's the issue. So uh, there are a couple things on this route that can spawn. Uh, the oh, and Enter Tauros. I I don't think you go for either of those, but <laughs> if I see a Pinsir, I'd be really upset. Uh, unfortunately, that is the wrong Veno Pokemon. We need the first one. Uh, so very good dodge on that Weeping Gall, actually. So Tucker going to try and reset the route again. Uh, there's a Chansey and a Venonat, so uh, Tucker could theoretically go for both, and that actually fixes the, the whole catch route. It does. Uh, gets the excellent throw, too. Uh, with that, our runners are right about at the same spot. Yeah, Tucker has marked the Chansey, so Tucker will be going for the Chansey here. I, this. I think it's probably right, too, because uh, now uh, you get the Venonat evolved immediately. And then just catch the Tenta, which they do not have yet. That's it. Yep. Oh, it doesn't get even yeah, a kind nice. Of gets motion control there, so uh, needs this to stay in. And, it doesn't. Oh my gosh, and they're low on ultras too. All right, so gets the excellent throw this time. So. So they're um, out of ultra balls. It should be fine. Uh, Starmie will. Oh, oh no! It no. broke out. Oh no. Okay, it's it. in this time. Okay, so three ball chance. Oh, okay. Not. Uh does not get the Venon app, but gets everything else in the party, so uh, that's actually fine. Uh, so that is uh, Ma Machoke, Dodrio, and uh, Golduck. So. so that puts Tucker only needing to catch uh, Coughing. Wait, did Tucker catch an Eevee? Tucker's playing on Eevee version. They have Clarion marked. 
They do have Flurry on marked. Wait. Did I miss that? Yeah, okay, no, no, no. Okay, okay they unmarked it, okay. <laughs> they, I was I like, what? Marked, I think they marked that instead of Nine Tails. Alright, so Tucker is at 50 pokes now on the catch tracker. Uh, Amber, I did not see the CP on the, the star. The star I did food. not either. Yeah, so one of our kind chatters will uh, show that uh, in chat. That'd be awesome. I Amber very much in command here. All right, so Amber has caught the star. I believe that's actually the last thing. Amber just needs to catch one more Pokemon. 1109. Wow. Wow. The rich get richer. Um, so Amber only needs to catch Grimer and Amber is done. So Tucker also has 50 Pokemon uh, ready to go. Um, Tucker going to go ahead and kind of box everything uh, at this point. The uh, Venonat is will evolve on the next catch. Uh, just goes ahead and is going to fly. Yep, and still needs to catch three more things. Oh, Tucker didn't do the cutscene! Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so Tucker keeping the lure up just needs to get, um... Just needs to get uh, the star and the jellyfish and a. Uh, Holy, that is a star! Oh my god! <laughs> I just saw its stats. So at forty-six, it's ninety-four oh. eighty-eight. They are oh fast enough god. to outspeed the Rapidash, and a very good special attack. Oh my. God. God, that is such a good star. There are three Tangalas here. Well, that's one way to do it. Yep. So the game is just saying, uh, please get Tangela here. Uh, good, excellent throw. Uh, so this is Grimer here for Amber. This is actually going to be Amber's final catch of the run. Uh, Amber will get to 48 catches with this, and then there are two free gift Pokemon. And uh, does get Amber. the Tangelina Jolie. All right, so uh, that also gets Venomoth as well for Tucker. So, yep. uh, now Tucker just needs to catch Tentacool. Um... Uh, Oh, okay, I see what happened. All right. Uh, yep, just needs to catch Tentacool. Uh, and then um, the star and the coughing and is done. <laughs> Tucker forgot they already had 50 planned. So therefore going the 9,000, they're good. Oh, yeah, they have Diglett planned right now. I think they just meant to click uh, Venomoth. Diglett and Venomoth are right next to each other on the tracker, so... Uh, so there is the Tentacool for Tucker. And Amber about to start the... Everfun Ted fight. Yep, this is Ted. Um, Ted has an Electrode. Uh, we don't like Rapid Electrodes. Rapid second controller. Yep, they do not like Electrodes. They are uh, annoying. Gets the uh, the breakout from the tentacle. 
does get hit with the T-Bolt, but it does not hurt. So yeah, so you just super potion here. Actually, you don't even do that. You just take the bed heal. Oh, yeah, you can take the bed heal. Um, save the potion for um, Archer. So, uh, Tucker, and, uh, second ball, uh, tentacle. Uh, a little slow, but that's fine. Um, does get the tentacle. Now just need star, and Tucker is out of here. Tucker's had a... His catch count has been... And even with all the craziness of the catch count, Tucker's honestly not that far behind Amber. Uh, needs the star, though. Needs the star to spawn. Oh, there it is. There it okay. Is. Uh, little, little bit of a wait, but uh, not the worst. And star is 1047. It's not too bad. No, that's, uh, that's pretty good for a star. It's fairly average. And Amber uh, now making their way out of the mansion. And Amber going to start the Blaine fight. Amber is still on a very, very good pace. Uh, so this Tucker is probably go ahead and... 301 pace. For Amber. I believe so. Uh, Tucker uh, does get uh, the coughing spawn. Uh, so this will actually be Tucker's last catch of the run. This should be everything for Tucker. As long as I'm not missing anything weird, and I am not. So, Tucker is done with catches. Um, just needs to evolve uh, some things in their party. Amber's still needing to evolve... Uh, the Pidgey twice, um, and the Muck as well. So they actually, they actually both have the same amount of Evos that they need, I believe. Tucker needs to evolve the Weezing and the Tentacle. Actually, no, uh, Tucker only needs to evolve two Pokemon. Um, Tucker already has Dodrio. The standard fight from Amber, it... The Magmar there loves to go for um, Confusory, which you always heal out of the confusion. Um, it can burn with the flamethrower, but that's only 10%. Oh wow, but Tucker's star is really good. CP is a lie. Yeah, Tucker's <laughs> star is real good. Speed's a little, a little slow, but uh, special attack is very, very good. Uh, 87, it's barely enough. Yeah, speed speed's slightly slow, uh, but it will outspeed everything in the run. Yep, uh, so it might not be able to do like X speed skip on rival five, but uh, that's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's one speed lower than Amber's, but slightly better special attack. Both very, very good special attack. Yeah, uh, that's actually very good uh, for Tucker. Uh, that means uh, there's going to be some late game ranges that Tucker can kind of go for. Uh, that might uh, save some time for them, uh, specifically some ranges on Koga. Um, you can scald everything in that gym instead of, uh, you know, having to hit psychics. So uh, helps you save on psychics. Oh, is Amber? Wait. Wait, what? Is Tucker just calling it? Tucker is calling it. Yep.
So, yeah, so now uh, we're down to just Amber, so Amber just needs to finish the run. Yeah, so this is a 302 pace run. Which means we'll see Amber just go for safety strats. Doesn't need to risk anything. So Amber will be into the finals along with Headstrom. Uh, so that is two of our finalists from last year uh, in a repeat. The only other one missing is Echi, who is out. Well, Echi, unfortunately, not making it to finals this year. Uh, but did win Barrier Blitz and did win the tournament last year, so... Yeah, Etchie Greta. Etchie, the Etchie passed the torch. Etchie's, Etchie's off in TCG land right now. True, Sandy, true. Definitely. All right, so uh, Amber now gonna go uh, take out uh, Lieutenant Surge here. You'll notice we're very severely over leveled. Yes, <laughs> uh, we switched to Starmie and do all these gyms later. So we're gonna kind of start a gym rush uh, right now. Uh, we haven't fought a gym in like, Blaine was the first gym we fought in like an hour. Uh, so now we are, um, uh, so now we're going to go take care of all the gyms that we kind of skipped, uh, at the last, uh, earlier in the game and kind of steamroll them with a level 45 star me or level 46, depending on how many rare candies you used. In this case, it's a 46, but yep. I think in this Pikachu version, cracked. yeah, in Pikachu version, it's always worth it to go three candies. In Eevee, uh, you can do two plus two a lot uh, more safely if you have really good speed because you can skip a couple X items and skip some turnarounds later in the game. Um, but uh, it's not really uh, not every star can do that. Uh, this star me might be able to do that, um, but on Pika version, you really want to outspeed a Jolteon, so. Why would you want to outspeed a Jolteon? Because Jolteon, 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 <laughs> Jolteon has this move called Thunder. And I know when I use Thunder, it always misses. But when Trace uses Thunder, it seems to always hit. See, he'll always hit with Thunder, but then he'll never use Cubone to actually use Boomerang when you need him to. I know. We're going to show this lady a cute Pokemon. Uh, all Pokemon are adorable. Does not matter what Pokemon you show her. Although there is a former Let's Go runner who used to actually think you always had to show them Doduo because Burb. Because Burb. Uh, this is another, uh, this gym is another example of trainers just being completely blind. Um, you can walk right in front of these guys and they don't see you. Yeah. Uh, it looks scary, but there there's so much space. Uh, space. We're, we're not even close to their vision. Uh, while you don't even there. really have to completely hug it. <laughs> no. it. Their vision's so bad, it's hilarious. Yeah, their, their vision is pretty much that little alcove that they're in. Um, if you don't step into that alcove, they can't see you, so uh, pretty much every trainer in this gym is blind. I don't even think I've fought a single trainer in this gym casually. I 
imagine ever playing the Pikachu version. Uh, I played Pikachu version casually, and I speedrun Eevee. I have never played Eevee casually. I've never played either casually. I just speedrun. <laughs> I played uh, Pikachu casually when it first came out. So. In fact, I only ever got this game and speedrun it because a certain somebody in chat is part of why I even got into speedrunning in the first place. And she knows exactly who she is. <laughs> I, I got into speedrunning this game because Etiquette did a run at GDQ. Um... I imagine that's how a lot of people found this game, was that run. Yep. Alright, so uh, Amber is through the little gym rush here. Uh, so just picking up, uh, we went from, in the span of about eight minutes, uh, we went from two badges to uh, six. So, or two badges to five. Uh, we're going to go pick up the 6 badge here in a little bit. Uh, I think for Evos, Amber just has to get... just the muck and the Pidgeot, so. That will get Amber to exactly 50. Yeah, very good run for overall. Triv, hello. Hello, Triv. So Ergo hit two optionals um, and decided to call it in tower. Tucker's catch count was extremely low and was so far enough behind Amber that he just decided to say, it, it's over. I can't. Yeah. Tucker needed uh, Tangela and Venomoth. If uh, that tells you anything about the catch route. All right, Sam, we're starting the blue fight. Uh, this is actually one of the coolest uses of two controller fights in this run. Um, the Starmie that we use is a incredibly powerful Pokemon. Uh, it can hit everything in the game for at least neutral damage with the sole exception of that Exeggutor. So we will two control this fight power up whatever our partner is and hit it. Uh, you can use Dodrio, you can use uh, Rapidash, um, you can use Magmar. Um, uh, apparently, according to Dynam, you could use Venomoth if you really wanted to. Uh, apparently that KOs as well. Learning, or Dodrio, learning that's the more common here. one. Huh? Dodrio is the more common one. Yeah, Dodrio is the... Uh, Dodrio is usually the most used thing here. Uh, it gets Drill Pack, but you can use Rapidash. Uh, just you know, you have to know that uh, Fire Blast is not 100% accurate. Yeah, the Wombo Rat was hilarious. All right, Amber about to start Archer 2. Uh, this is widely considered the worst fight in the game uh, for a multitude of reasons. Uh, remember Ted with his electrode? That's part of it. Okay, um, what do we get turn one? And we want to see protect. We want to see explosion, no protect. That's what we want. And see. we get it. 
That's Wait. literally the perfect start. The rich get richer. Oh, boom rain turn one. That is not what you want to see. Yeah. Ideally, you see focus energy turn one because it's a lot more likely to go for boom rain twice. Could still get a three turn, but. Exactly. Oh, it does. Tucker punched the Cubone, so Cubone is attacking. And misses. Uh, dodged. Oh. Alright, so definitely at least a four turn. That's yeah, gonna be a four turn play. That's unfortunate. And Amber is now through Archer. Uh, this fight is completely safe from this point forward. That fair is point, the... Triv. Fair point. <laughs> uh, that is Pidgeot there for Amber. So we are through Archer 2. Uh, the rest of this kind of uh, building is pretty easy. Uh, Archer 2 is a terrible fight because uh, it starts with the Electrode. The Electrode can Thunderbolt you. You can get stuck in a heal loop. Uh, and that combined with the fact that it is a true double fight. Uh, two people versus two people. The game kind of just lags while it's waiting for the AI to make decisions or something. Um, so that fight can just lose a ton of time for no reason. So, uh, getting through that fight in four turns is really awesome. Well, you can lose a lot of time for that, and then simply T-Bolt spam. Yep, and you get stuck in a heal loop, and then you're just kind of stuck waiting for Archer to select a different move. I'd uh, actually argue the worst fight is Cape. Uh, I I could I could agree with that. Caden is a very awful fight. I have worse luck with Caden than I do Archer too. Yeah, one bad turn on Caden and the whole fight goes south. Yup. All right. So the last time we fought Jesse and James, uh, this fight was there. The fight is very difficult uh, because they're much higher level than you and. Their Pokemon are really strong, uh, but we are now uh, 11 levels higher than them with our level 47 Starmie. Um, so we're just going to steamroll them. Not to mention we outspeed and we have a stab super effective move. Yeah. Uh, and there is the Muck Evo as well, uh, and the Weezing attacking the Rapidash, so that is perfect. Four goes the heal on Starmie, which is great. Yep. Staves off turnarounds. And that is the final Evo. Yep, so all Amber needs to do now is pick up the two free gift Pokemon that will get them to 50 catches. Uh, Amber about to start the second Giovanni fight. Uh, this fight is nothing like the first one where it's very scary. This fight, you just set up an X special uh, and then just go.
But usually on turn one, Giovanni will go for fake out, so it's just a free turn to set up the X special. Um, then you just spam Scald three times and take out all three of his Pokemon. What, you mean you don't want to spam Hydro Pump on all of them? You could spam Hydro Pump on all of them. It will take them all out. It will. And it works if you don't have any X special attacks, but... Does Hydro Pump get the the Persian? I don't know if it does or not. Cause you could you could just three Hydro Pumps and save a save an X item. Save a save an X item for turnarounds. Uh so yeah, Amber is gonna go ahead and pick up the Master Ball. We're forced to pick up the Master Ball after this. Uh, so well, actually, what ball. you do at that point is you just do X hack, so you don't miss the hydro. Well, you could do that, yeah. Is there a free X attack somewhere, or X hack? Uh, X accuracy? Yeah, uh, is there there is. I don't remember where. It's like if you're low on X special attacks, that is actually not the worst idea. No. Yeah. Oddly enough, Hydro may not take out the Persian, sure. No shiny Lapras, so only one more chance to see a shiny in the run. Uh, after this, uh, we will have a max repel up for the rest of the run, so uh, no chance of seeing a shiny after this last Porygon here. Already got the Larpus and now the Porygon. Alright, Amber going to grab the Porygon. This is the final Pokemon in the run. Thankfully, we have three freebies. No shiny. Yeah, realistically, you're only catching 47 Pokemon. Catching and evolving, but yes. No Evos, you're catching more than that. That That is true. <laughs> and if you want to see a no Evos run, uh, check out the Pokemon Speedruns Marathon in two weeks. It's going to be <laughs> well, actually, no, we're not doing no evils on that. We're doing the OP. Is somebody else doing no evils? Uh, yes, Fierce is doing no evils. Okay. And then I'll be joining Randall, JT, and one other on an AOP. Alright, so the requirement to enter this gym is uh, have a level 45 Pokemon. Uh, funnily enough. Thank you, uh, Starmie, for being a level 43 when we catch you. <laughs> Exactly, and then we pump candies into it, so it uh, meets the requirement immediately. Um, fun fact, Sabrina could not even get into her own gym. I believe her highest level is 44, I think? Correct. Yeah, so she couldn't even get into her own gym, so... In fact, none of these trainers in here, I think, could. Yeah, no, there's nobody in the gym that would be able to enter the gym with her rules, so. Make that make sense. Yeah, this is like the weirdest requirement out of all of them.
Yeah, all well, the gym requirements, uh, there's there's a few that we have to do, but some of them are just completed via story stuff. Um, having a level 45 Pokemon is something we have to do, but it just lines up perfectly that this Staryu comes at 43 and we pump candies into it to get to 45. Uh, no light, light screen, screen one. So Amber just gonna go ahead and set up for the rest of the fight. And no special defense drop, so that's very good. So what you'll notice here is we set up X speeds before we actually, like, at least one turn before we actually need them. The reason being is unlike all the other X items, X speeds take effect the next turn rather than immediately. Yeah, dynamic speed changes weren't introduced till Sword and Shield, which is the game that came after this. So... Uh, we have to wait a full turn for our X speeds uh, to take effect. And at least we have the Gen 1 pricing with the Gen 7 X items. Yes, it was very nice of Game Freak <laughs> to uh, keep that going for remakes. Uh, that trend was kept in BDSP as well. So the cheapest X item prices while still getting plus two per item, which is insane. So sorry. Alright, Amber is through Sabrina. Those early elixir. Uh, Amber gonna go ahead and dump their party. One thirty-seven, one twenty-five. Um, Amber is already uh, set up to hit the lance range, but uh, Amber did not buy X special defense, so uh, that will be Amber uh, will be two controlling the rest of the. Uh, will be two controlling all the end game stuff. So. And Amber can easily scald everything. Wait, Ember's Amber's special attack is completely not this star like, <laughs> yeah. this star is cracked. Like this is this is one of the best armies we've seen. The this is the star is really, really good. Scald is guaranteed on all of Koga's folks, which is really nice. So this is the gym where we needed the 50 pokes? Uh, yep. This is the one that we need uh, all 50 Pokemon for. This is the, uh, this is kind of what the whole speed run is based around. So we do this gym seventh. Uh, we do this gym last if we could, uh, just to give us some extra time to catch Pokemon. But, uh, the final gym requirement, uh, is just have seven badges. Yep. This gym is actually also where in my AOP notes, I'm like, if you don't have 50 pokes right now, what in the heck have you been doing this entire time? <laughs> like, if we don't have 50, what went wrong? Uh, so this is Caden. Uh, this is the actual gym leader of this gym. All my homies hate Caden. All my homies hate Caden. Uh, so we're going to start setting up. Uh, we got to protect, and that it is the literally fight. could not have gone better. Yep. Uh, so you might be like, oh, well, that fight's really easy. Why is that fight scary? Uh, that muck has, like, double team and toxic. It, this fight is it, terrible. Mm, it's minimize, protect, and toxic, and it's a pain. So if it goes minimize turn one, it'll likely go protect turn two, and now you're 70% to hit, basically, and it's like you can end up in a constant miss loop. Yeah, every Pokemon in this gym has toxic. Um... 
and everything I believe every has protect. Toxic and protect as well. So yes. um, what ends up happening is like if you get toxic, you have to heal it immediately because if you let toxic uh, stack, uh, toxic has like a doubling effect every turn of how much damage you take. Uh, you will die in like five turns, so you need to heal it immediately. I actually just noticed uh, from that cutscene that uh, Caden is still facing the direction that you talk to him in. Yep. <laughs> so I actually never noticed. I've been running this game for four years and I never noticed that. So this is actually the one section where this fight could go even better than what you can. And we don't get it, unfortunately. No. So, uh, double protect? Ah, uh, okay. Wow. That's 50%. Yeah. And uh, Amber's star is good enough to uh, just scald oh, everything no. here. Uh, three protects. Um, again, this, Stop this fight is not please. hard. This fight isn't dangerous. There's no, there's no chance you lose this fight, but you can lose a ton of time on this fight to Koga just protecting. Uh, no protect there, though, so that's good. Yeah, decides to go for T-Bolt there, just because if you go end up with Protect, you could lose more Scalds and you need some Scalds. Yeah, that's classic Koga. Just lose time Koga. simply to too many Protects. Yep. But if he starts off with Explosion turn one, everything else is more favored to actually go for an attack rather than Protect. Unless, of course, Explosion decides to crit, and then you just die, but... Boom turn one is goaded. Sub 230 code. Wildly fast. Yep. So I'm gonna get pushy push here. We're gonna learn how to push a boulder. This is going to be one of the last menus here. Uh, so we're going to set up a Max Repel um, so that we don't see any more Pokemon. And now we are going to fly to Viridian. You know, trigger the final gym. Yep. That menu is actually where some people, myself included, tend to actually use the Elixir there. Yes, I use the elixir on that menu as well. Just because I've seen way too many times where Caden goes sideways. Yeah, I always I always like late elixir, um, just because sometimes uh, the Koga's gym can go pretty bad, and you don't really use a lot of psychics prior to uh, in between the free full heal after um, the free full heal after uh, Archer 2 and uh, the point where you would use the max elixir. I think you only use like maybe one. So you might wonder why we don't actually fly back to Viridian here and the simple answer is it's actually faster to ride back on the Rapidash as long as you don't dismount.
Alright, it's Tamer Cole. Uh, so Amber's got good enough uh, special attack where they can just uh, double psychic this fight, uh, save a couple, uh, save some super effective text. Now we get to see what happens with Samuel. I'd assume we're going to see a 2C. Yep. yep. You can do this fight one of two ways. Uh, you can either 2C the fight, um, X special scald, um, or you can just go for the Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump, of course, uh, not 100% accurate. Uh, this uh, Nido King does no Mega Horn, so you will very likely die if it misses. Although Mega Horn is also eighty five percent. I kicked Stomp. Oh, that just straight up KO'd. Uh, wait. At forty nine. What is this special what? attack here? It was one. It was one thirty seven when she rare candied. Okay. One thirty-seven. Yeah. What? What is the range on that? Like, I need uh, to know now. One, Thirteen and sixteen is at one forty-four. So it was under that significantly. I would assume, like, if I was like an eighty, like that was like a fifty-fifty shot. Yeah. That was not guaranteed. Like that was far from guaranteed. Yeah, you wouldn't put out, pull out the two controller unless that was like no shot that was gonna one shot. No, the only way that one shots with psychic guaranteed is at 149. Yeah, then I, I can't imagine what you have to do to get to 149. That that's that's why. Alright, so uh, starting the two controller version of this fight. Um, normally, you would set up an X defend, uh, and then an X special, and then you would just start attacking with Scald. Uh, however, in the two controller version of this fight, you just have to take one Earthquake um, and set up an X special attack. You outspeed everything except the Doug Trio. Um, so you just take this hit. Uh, Rapidash goes down, and now you just spam Scald for the rest of the fight. Uh, we're 137, Dynam. Yeah, it was it was 137, 125 on the candy level up. Uh, so we'll see the stats here after the uh, ride on. Minus 16. So not the worst range, but not great. Yeah. 142, 142. Yeah. Amber is definitely going plus four on Lorelei. Yeah. Plus four on Lorelei is going to be a 15 of 16. Uh, are we plus four for champ Wait. as well? Uh, plus four for champ? I yeah. I believe so. Okay, so how are we looking on the plus two Pidgeot uh, range? Uh, plus two Pidgeot will be... Depend like, 13 and 16 is 151 special attack, Ooh, so... We need a lot. Well, we get the friendship boost after... I think it's Bruno? You're guaranteed a plus four Psychic, but... I guess if you're two controlling all the fights, because uh, Amber did not buy X special defense, so um, don't have to worry about that. You just take the hit and then go. Mm -hmm. But no, we should get an extra level before Lorelei, so Lorelei will be guaranteed. If we don't get another level, then it's 15 to 16 at plus four on the Jinx. 
I think you still go for it. 15 and 16 Oh, is no, fine. you absolutely do. Yeah. And you get another level. You're 51 by that point. It's like we... We're guaranteed. It's an incredibly good range. Now, I don't know what the ranges are for Eco. It's the Jolteon. Uh, I offhand, I don't know the, the Jolteon ranges. It's been a very long time since I run Pika. Uh, for reference, my Pika PB is, I believe, seven minutes slower than my EV PB. That's how long it's been since I've run uh, Pika. Yeah, it's. Alright, so on this fight, you always X speed on turn two. You can go for a Hydro Pump on this fight, but again, it's not 100% accurate, and that Jolteon does no uh, Thunder. Yeah, no need to heal uh, after that, so just, uh, you have to revive the Rapidash anyway, so just, uh, you know, heal on that menu. Um, champ, plus four psychic is guaranteed at 149. Uh, we at should 54. clear 149 with the friendship boost. 143 if you hit 55. Which I don't think we do. I don't know. I uh, think we... I think it's level you shouldn't 50. hit 55. It should always yeah, be 54. Or, yeah, 54. Which would be one. Yeah, so, like, that should be. Alright, so Amber just going through all the badge checks. a big block yep and then we're coming up on naomi where this one standard is you go to see however if you are behind and you need a makeup time the best way to take a one controller naomi um without really risking nearly as much is you go scald turn one and hope you get the burn because with the burn, you are guaranteed to live, and then you can go X special attack and scald again. Going for the pump. Easy. Easily. Easy. Uh, and then the Venusaur is just a psychic. There's like literally no ranges for this thing anymore. Yeah, no, uh, I think uh, I think Amber's good for the rest of the run. I don't think we have a single range. This uh, the star me is completely nuts. It, this star me is goaded. It, it's really, really good. Yeah, I, I'm interested to see the stat, the what what the special attack ends ends at. Considering we were 137. It was 142 on Geo. Um, so we're yeah, going to level up on Caroline. So at 50, we're at 1... 
42. I'm going to hazard a bet. Probably... 150, 151. That's what I'm thinking. Probably, probably the low 150s. <laughs> um, good question. What are you at for this? Uh, I don't know. You you could go for the pump here. Uh, and just a hypnosis miss, so that's fine too. Good, I don't actually have the ranges for it. Probably not. I, I don't even think I have the ranges in my notes for this, because just the odds of you having a star me that good is just so low. And then just three Thunderbolts to get through Juggler and Nelson, and then we are through uh, Nelson. So only uh, there's only four fights in Victory Road uh, at the end of the run. So this this guy is so annoying. He's never in the right spot. Nope. And All you right. gotta be very careful because Rapidash is fast. So like if you go too fast, you could very quickly, very easily hit an optional. Yeah, uh, that guy is not a terrible optional hit. I think he only has an Onyx, but uh, it's still a massive time loss. Yes. Uh, so uh, Amber pushing a boulder here into the corner. Uh, just gonna hit that trigger. And then for the most nerve-wracking skip in the entire game. Not the hardest, but definitely the most nerve-wracking. Because if you miss the skip, you lose like a minute or five, two minutes. Yeah, this, uh, this is not a fun fight to have to end up doing. Uh, and Amber's gonna take it slow and right right in front of her. Uh, so good skip. Uh, that is Alexa. She has a dragon air, a wiggly tough. <laughs> I forget what her third one is. Like her team's stupid. Uh, so we're gonna go through uh, Caroline. So uh, we just have to hit a hydro pump on this fight. Um, I don't know. Is there a special attack? Maybe we could scald this. Mm, I don't know that you could actually scald this ring. Plus four scald those. And knocks that out. And we should see a level up here. One forty five. God. We are guaranteed plus four on the way. Oh yeah. All right, and that is going to be Caroline. So Amber is through almost all the trainers in Victory Road. Scald is guaranteed at 144 on gold. <laughs> all right. So now it's time to push a boulder 20 times. Uh, this is like one of the like one of the worst changes from fire red leaf green uh yellow red red blue yellow uh where you just had to walk into the boulder in those games and it would move uh this one you have to press a in front of it so uh you do have to press a like 20 something times to get yep. this boulder to where it's supposed to go and then you can't even control whether or not you move or and then dismount yeah like right it's there actually faster if you don't but There's like nothing you can do. It's a big open space, nope. so Rapidash just wants to spawn in. And now for the final trainer uh, in Victory Road, awesome. Dawson. The first trainer we figured out you could skip, which created this category. We only figured out you could skip it because somebody accidentally skipped it. <laughs> Yep. Uh, I just I just noticed that Amber has 100 uh, <laughs> special attacks. Yeah. Just, 
Just bought max of them. All right. It's faster than going. I mean, if you're not buying, yeah, if you're not buying like X special defense or anything, and your shop is already done, like you bought enough hyper potions to get through, and you have enough X speeds, max X special attacks, and you're you're done shopping. Yep. It's two less inputs, so. Alright, because Amber is doing uh, two controller, you don't need to pick up the full restore. So Amber heading off to the final final five fights in the game. All of these will be very easy. Yeah, this uh this star me is very very good. I still remember uh, the days when we didn't have safety strats. I uh, am we're gonna go ahead and add Lapras Larpus. to the party. Doing Lapras strats. I like Larpus Strats. Time for Ice Mummy. Yep. So, uh, like I said, Razor, uh, we can just go to plus four on this. Jinx is guaranteed. Yeah, Jinx is long since been guaranteed. Yeah, this uh, this Starmy is nuts. Not often you actually have a good enough star to actually go to plus four. And there it is. And so uh, Amber now threw uh, Lorelai. It's the first member of the Elite Four down. And doesn't need to worry about healing on the next fight because even on a max like even on a high roll you're only gonna take 48 from EQ from the Onyx. That's with minimum defense. Hit 52 on the next fight. This is uh, Bruno, uh, another easy fight. Just going to X special and then just hit psychic five times. Yep. If you don't have high enough special attack on Dawson and you have to use psychic there, then you just skull the Onyx, but. More often than you, know, you have the 132 by Dawson anyway. Yeah. What was that special attack? 147? Uh, I believe so. That would put us at a 15 of 16 on Jolkion. Without another level up. <laughs> yeah, I, this is going to be a plus four. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely clear the, uh, the plus four on the...
Yeah, this storm needs death. Need something else. The only thing that could make this storm be better is having 156 speed. So you could actually just skip the X speed, but you can't do that here. Yeah. Do you imagine actually having 156 speed and this special attack here? That would be wild. So good. It's how come possible, I can never? But... How come I can never get stars like this? <laughs> right? Like, how, how come I never? Like, my star means are always like. I have like a seven in special attack, and I'm like, cool. Mm hmm. There is our turnarounds. Yep. So, we never explained turnarounds. Uh, if you use too many items, like X items and rare candies, uh, your Pokemon gets really happy, and then whenever you do a special, or whenever you do like a super effective attack or um, heal your Pokemon battle, turn around to look at you. That is a two second time loss every time that happens. So. Uh, we would like to avoid that as much as possible. Going plus four with Scalds. I like it. I think it's. I think it's good. I think. I think uh, that Starmie's special attack is high enough that it will be fine. It also means that you skip the turnarounds like on two of the pokes, so I'm fine with that. Yep. So that's the one thing with PK is you have to be very careful what move you use that ether on. You need to use it on the psychic. Um, EV gets elixirs and max elixirs, so you don't even have to worry about clicking on a specific move. It just works on all the moves. Another re <clears throat> another reason why EV is the better game. Saving here. Is this just going to be a onesie? Wait, no. So the two controller version of this fight, you it starts onesie. Oh, no. OK, so they have the, the 2C up already. Why are we saving here? Uh, I don't know. You're just safe. Potential crit. Probably just in case you get like crit or something. Mm hmm. Oh, that's very good damage on the Lapras. Causes a revive loop. Fair. Yep, so you just uh, set up to plus six here. Uh, interestingly, we still need to set up to plus six to take out this Dragonite. This Dragonite has insanely high special defense. It's because it's Game a Freak. Dragonite. Yeah, Game Freak knew what you were trying to do, uh, so they kind of planned for that. Dragonite has very high special defense. Uh, I think it has, like, AVs in special defense, too. I think so. I know it also has a careful nature. One special attack. That is a range to kill with plus two people. Unlikely, but it's possible. Oh, on the uh, on the pitch yacht. <laughs> right. Obviously, at this point, you just don't do that, but you could.
So I'm pitching out where 13 and 16 we move. That plus 2 T bolt. Alright, uh, Amber is starting the final fight in the run. Uh, surprise Mega Evolution exists in this game. This will be the only time you see it. And there's a... And that's GG's. Yep, that is going to be it. Uh, Amber is now through uh, the final fight. Will be like a high 301, maybe a low 302. Yeah, I think this is a low 302, really low 302. Yeah, this is like a 302, like 20, Not I guess. Even that. This is probably like a 302, five. And that is it. Unfortunately, uh, so what you really want there with the Lapras strat is that Lapras just dies to the Pidgeot, but uh, unfortunately that did not happen there, so. Uh, but that is going to be it for Amber. Uh, so Amber is going hey, to geez. advance. Amber will advance to the finals again for a second year. Yeah, this is going to be a very low 302. A 302 even. Yeah, that's going to be it. So Amber going to advance to the finals for a second year in a row. So unfortunate circumstances for the other runners, uh, Tucker and Ergo, but uh, making the semifinals is fantastic. So uh, definitely uh, should be very proud of that accomplishment, making it to semifinals. Uh, Amber uh, on a tear uh, wants to, you know, with no etchy, uh, you know, wants to uh, see if they can win the tournament this year. I think we are joined by Amber. Hello, hello. I will hello. not stay too long because I'm very tired. It's 2 a.m. here. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, yeah, so uh, how uh, how does that star me? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, honestly, was, uh... I, I, I didn't, like, 
when I leveled up at level 47, I did not register, like, how high my special attack was for a while. And then, like, like I saw the level up, and then, like, 30 seconds later, I I, I asked Greta, I was like, Greta, what, what was my special attack? And she was, like, 130. I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Razor, Razor pointed it out on the first rare candy. I didn't see it, and then when you did the second one, I was like, oh my god, this started. I knew it was insane. high. I did not realize it was that high. <laughs> I knew immediately because, like, at 46, you were, like, 94, 88. Yeah. Yeah, I, was I like, think I, I was so geez. focused on, like, the speed and, like, okay, am I outspeeding Rapidash or not that I, like, yeah. honestly, like, blanked on the special attack. Like, I knew you were clean of the Rapidash, barely. Yeah. But yeah, the, the speed was pretty average. Just, but... Yeah, speed, was, speed was good enough. I mean... Yeah. Um... Other things that happened this run, this run was, like, very, like, fine. Other than, like, two weird things happening that I can remember. Mm -hmm. Um, Growlithe dying on the Drew fight was interesting. I almost did, if I had the party space, I actually would have put Growlithe in as soon as I picked up the Firestone. He would have been dead. And wrote it, but I didn't have the party space because I had Krabby and Cubone and Machop in the party as well. Yeah, your catch route yeah. was a little weird up until the Abra. Yeah, the Abra kind of sh- it, it, I wouldn't say it like, saved me, but um, really, like having a good Route 10 and, and a good tunnel was really what helped. Like, bad Route 10 there would have like killed my catch route, but I ended yeah. up getting like everything I wanted there, which was nice. Getting the instant Rhyhorn was huge. Yeah, that was really good, too. Um, only other weird thing that happened is that I didn't realize that like you could get paralyzed on Helping Hand. So I probably would have held that paralysis immediately if I knew that. But I've done, I've like gone through hideout with paralysis on Nido King like so many times, and I've never gotten paralyzed on the helping hand. I just didn't even know it could happen. But um, yeah, it was fine. I mean, I just pulled in the Machop and just killed it. Yeah, um, I saw the Machop switch in. I'm like, yeah, this should outspeed. Uh, I didn't yeah, know I'm if like sure Geo had like weird Even like speed, if it didn't or speed and it died i could have just brought the peak of back in double mm-hmm. kick it would have outsped and then i get the heal pad anyway so like it would really would not have mattered yeah lost a little bit of time but not massively yeah no that was fine uh, other than that it was like a fine run oh okay the only other thing is that um in, in hindsight i should have gotten the clefable yeah but, i mean it was like a split yeah, second I you think about the clefable <laughs> Yeah, it was like it was. It, I had to make that decision in like one second, and I like yeah. It said my EXP was like pretty uh, like low early game. It was I wasn't getting, like, fine. Any like it was good enough, but that was about it. Yeah, you probably. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I was like taking the, the fairy catch more slowly. I was taking the Paris catch more. Slowly. Oh no! Uh, yeah, no. I I knew you did immediately, and I'm like. I tend to do the same thing with those just because, like, I know I need 15. Yeah. Like, in PB attempts, I just, like, go because, like, I'm not going to sit there for 10 seconds for that when I could just, like, mm-hmm. get it quickly or reset. But, like, in a race, I, you just really desperately want to get 15. So, Especially when your PB is sub-3. <laughs> <laughs> Technically not sub-3 in Pika, but close enough. As close as you can be, actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head off to bed because I'm very tired. But um, thank you, UT, for commentating. Uh, and thank everyone for watching. And I will see you. Hopefully see you in the finals. Yeah, GG's. Absolutely. So great race, Amber. GG's. GG's. Mm-hmm. Uh, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how our bracket shakes out. Uh, so Amber has now been added to our finals match. So that leaves only one match left to play uh, T-Pat, Etiquette, and Head Bob. And uh, we only have one match left, uh, and that will be tomorrow night at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so wherever you are, uh, do the time conversion. Um, so in about uh what was it like 2 a.m right now so like uh 12 so so about 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 16 hours from now 
uh, is when that race will be taking place. So uh, that will be the final race. So uh, get your pickums in now. Uh, finals is looking to be a really, really good uh, race. That's going to be a really good one. Oh yeah, our the last ma- the last match is going to be really really good. Etiquette, uh, of course, former world record holder T Pat, uh, putting in a lot of time on this game. Uh, uh, believe just joined the sub three club. Correct. And uh, Head Bob actually PB'd wall at GDQ. So, so recently getting a PB there. So. Yeah, uh, this is going to be shape. This is going to shape up to be a really, really good last match uh, for the tournament uh, until finals. So yeah, uh, I think with that, that is actually going to uh, finish us off here. Um, unless you got anything else, Razor? Nope. Alrighty then. Well, everybody, appreciate y'all hanging out with me and Razor here on uh, Pokemon Let's Go After Dark. Um, was a good run. Again, uh, you know, unfortunate circumstances for uh, Tucker and Ergo, but uh, again, congratulations and GG's to them uh, making the top nine of the tournament. Uh, sometimes Let's Go is just Let's Go, and that's that's just how it is. Uh, but yeah, I uh, appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see y'all tomorrow night for uh, the final semifinal race.